Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. This is Bonizi and Fofo, and today we have a very, very special guest. Yes, yeah, someone you might have gotten to know on social media. I guess you could say a social media star to a certain oh, wow. extent at this point. <laughs> and we've really gotten to know him through his content. And we would like to introduce today, Philip Hernandez, Woo! aka Davao Conyo. What's up? Hey guys, hello. hello. I'm Philip, also known as Davao Conyo. Nice to have you on the podcast. Thank you. Thank yeah, thanks for coming. Man. Thanks for coming. So Actually, I guess out of the blue tong uh, podcast natin because initially nakilala ka namin dun sa Apple event. Yes. And I have to say na na starstruck ako kasi fans talaga kami ng content mo and we've been following you for quite some time now. So, nung nakita kita in person, I was like, ah, oh my god. Thank you. This is like a content creator that I love and I love what you do to be honest. Thank you. Nakakonsyos. Feel ko binibili mo yung purse ko. Ako na lapit kasi natin. Yeah, thank you. Ako din. Um, Lumayo ka daw, Bones. Medyo Ayan. natouch natin ako. Kasi syempre, for me, parang ibang level. Pag, syempre, celebrity. Tapos parang napapanood ako. Usually kasi baliktad. Kami yung nanonood sa inyo. And, you know, I really appreciate it. Thank you. So, deserve. Wow. <laughs> yeah, deserve mo talaga. Thank you deserve so much. mo talaga. Thank yeah, you. I'm really, really excited. And, I guess this is also one of my first times to relate to someone whom I super follow. Because as much as I'm on social media, I don't super follow people. Mm-hmm. So, ikaw, iilan lang kayong mga sinusundan ko na Filipino content creators. So, when I saw you doon sa... Oh, choosy ako, choosy ako. So, when I saw you doon sa Apple event, I was like, what's 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 But I noticed na medyo mahihain ka din yes. in person. Yes. So parang kahit na I tried to make you chica, you were like, like oh, oh. I'm holding back. I'm holding back. Eh, nafeel mo pala yun. Sorry. Yeah. Wait, so <laughs> napansin mo na ako yung nagsasabi. Oh, kasi kasi naririnig na. kita. Ah. Oo, oh, naririnig kita. Na. Hindi, hindi niya alam na hindi siya bumubulong pala. <laughs> Akala niya bulong. Yeah, yeah. Bulong yun para sa kanya. Pero ganun din kasi ako minsan eh. Parang, hindi ko pa natatakot na minsan baka sabihin ng tao na parang snobbish. Kasi minsan nahihiya, naunahan talaga ako nahihiya. Na parang, hindi ko kaya. Pero na-appreciate ko from afar, pero hindi ko kayang lumapit kasi baka wala sa mood or gano'n. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I totally get that. Kasi may experiences ako before na sobrang idol ko or sobrang it's somebody that I really like mm-hmm. and then I said hi. Tapos parang hindi ko pinansin or parang tinitigan lang ako. So parang may mga gano'n din akong yeah. experiences that made me hold back a bit and really think na should I say hello? Baka hindi naman ako kilala. Eh for Mikael, ang lagi niya sinasabi sa akin, ano ngayon kung di ka kilala? Basta magpakilala ka, go lang ng go. So, yes. the extrovert in him is always telling the introvert in me to just go for yeah. it. Yeah, and I'm there for the adventure. So, whether you, uh, nasnab ako or hindi ako pinansin or pinansin ako yes. tapos nagustuhan pa yung personality yeah. ko, whichever way it goes, it's an experience and para sa akin, go lang! At least yun yung mindset ko coming into it. Yeah. That's yeah. why I'm like very move forward lab. So let's get into your content na. Kasi that's the reason why we followed you and got to really know you. So I know that you first started with your dubs on yes. Facebook. Oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yung mga um, four sisters in a wedding. Yes. Tapos meron ka rin yung mga Avengers. Jolina Marvin. Yes. Usually I start ako sa Tagalog films. Oh. Tapos nung na-feel ko na parang mas, ano, mas... Hindi naman sa mas nanonood, pero parang na-enjoy din yung mga, ng mga tao yung English films or yung mga Disney. Yeah. So, kaya ako nag-venture na rin to Disney films. But even before that, why did you start dubbing? Like, yeah. saan nang galing yung, yung activity na yan, yung right. gawain mong yun? Right. Kasi nga, di ba, introvert ako. So, that, I always knew na I wanted to tell stories in a comedic way. Parang yun yung naging passion ko mm-hmm. itong bata pa ako. So, sabi ko na, since nahihiya ako to like, ipakita yung face ko kasi baka i-judge ako ng mga friends ko, ng mga workmates ko, ng mga batchmates ko mm. sa school. So sabi ko na, what if bosses na lang? Okay. So ayun, kaya ako nag-start ng dub. Tapos, and to be fair naman, nauna si Makoy dubs. I don't know if you've seen some of his content or yeah. heard kasi nagda-dub din siya. It's just so sabi ko na, hala, pwede din pala to. So, kaya ako siya ginawa. Pero yung akin naman is Bisaya Tagalog at mm-hmm. first. Tapos syempre, nung nafe-feel ko na may mga nakaka-relate ng mga Tagalog speakers or Filipino speakers. So sabi ko, what if gawin ko Tagalog? In fairness, kahit hindi ko maintindihan yung Bisaya, tawang-tawa pa rin ako. Kasi minimix ko siya. Yeah. So parang context clues pa rin yun. Actually, gusto ko nga dun yung, ano eh, yung white chicks mo. Ah, damn. Oh, white chicks. Yeah, yeah. Isa din yun sa, for SM naman. Pwede ba ako mag-mention ng brand? Oh, no, okay, lang. Lang. Eh. no problem. Oh, for SM naman yun. Ah, that was branded content. Yes. Okay. What year was this? 20... 
18. Yeah, medyo mat- wow, medyo one of your it was 18. probably one of your first couple of videos. Yes, and while I was watching it, I was like branded kaya to kasi hindi na mention na branded. Yeah. But it was so like we've got it all for you. That was parang may jingle pa at the end yes, na like dance yeah. mm-hmm. ano sila nag dance face off. So I was really ra- wondering, I wonder if Sinadya niya na talagang SM that, because it's your I guess it's your idea or yeah. kung branded content. Great job. Branded siya. Pero Miss Megan, ano talag Megan? Pala. Megan, oh, sorry, Megan, Megan, Megan. Zay na lang Zay at saka alam niyo man Zay at saka. Oh, so bisaya yun. Um, pero yung ang strategy ko talaga dati nung hindi pa ako na sa sponsor ng brands is nagbe-mention talaga ako ng brands. Ah, para siguro papansin. it went Yes, siguro papansin na si talaga. Pero it went on for like 5 or 6 content mm-hmm. na Sige, mention ko na lang yung katingko. ko. I-mention ko yeah. na lang yung, yung, ano, yung VIX. Mention ko na lang. Kasi feeling ko, tayo din Filipinos, we are very, ano, we, we recognize brands right away. Yes. Tapos lahat ng brands na yun, may kwento tayo dyan. Like, yes. for example, kung VIX naman, about mga nanay, gano'n. Mm-hmm. So I always mention them. Hanggang sa, na-feel siguro ng mga brands na, para tinatanggap ng tao na nag-mention siya ng brand. So why don't we pay him and then mention our brand? So, oh, ayun. that's great. Oh, oh my god, I have a million and one questions for you right now. <laughs> Go and ask. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Pero may limitations yun na. Kaya din ako nag, nag-transition to skits. Kasi ah. sobrang limited. Kasi hindi ko naman pwede ipakita yung brand. Kasi nga, dub siya. Get. So kung ano na yung ginagawa ng mga, ng mga tao dun or characters sa movie, yun lang din yung idadub ko. Yung lines na yung pwede ko i-alter. Pero I can't show like the exact product. At saka parang baka mamaya ma-technical ka kasi ibang actors yes. yun. It's parang... na, na, hanggang ngayon, nafa-flag down yung mga content ko from years ago. Okay, pag yung mga movies na dinedub mo. Yes, kasi copyright nga naman. Yeah. So what year did you start to transition into skits naman? 2019. Just before the pandemic? Ah, sorry, 2020. Ah! Mga 20, dun siya sumabog talaga yung okay. skits kasi dun din na, ano, yung TikTok. Tama ba na 2020 yung 2020. TikTok? 2020. Parang dun siya sumabog. Yeah. During the pandemic, sumabog yung TikTok. Yes. And yung mga dances, yung mga yes. skits nga na sinasabi natin. Correct. Mm-hmm. Pumutok talaga siya nung time na yun. Yes. So, kasi nung nakikita ko yung ibang tao na gumagawa sila ng skits, kasi kaya pwede ko na itong gawin. And then, inocross-post ko lang siya sa Facebook. Tapos may mga nanonood, nanonood din naman. So, kaya ako tinuloy-tuloy na yung... Okay, so how was that for you? Kasi ikaw... Inamin mo na na introverted ka, mm-hmm. and you didn't want to show your face initially. So yes. how did you deal with finally showing your face? Tapos nakita na ng mga kamag-anak mo, mga friends mo, mga katrabaho mo na initially, parang mm-hmm. may ano kaya may may Is takot ka. Yes. And what year was that? Do you remember the year that you started showing yeah, the face? Twenty twenty. Ma twenty nineteen twenty twenty. 2019. 2019. Okay. Yes. Yeah, pero siguro started. mas kumalat yung mukha ko na sa skits ko twenty twenty siguro because of TikTok. Ano miss? Uh, Zai. Zai. Kuan Zai. Like, ano kasi, ang nangyari nun is, syempre, na, may, may, na-feel na ng friends ko at saka ng family ko na, hala, parang kaya niya magpatawa through the dubs. So, mm-hmm. para may, may nalikom na ako na fans or supporters yeah. ng time yun. So, mas confident na ako okay. na okay. gawin yung skits versus yung hindi ko talaga alam kung susuportahan ba nila. And some of them were actually very happy na ganun pala yung itsura niya. Alam, alam mo yun. So, at I, least, nagdagdag ako ng bagong layer. And I saw, na, todo workout ka nung time na yun. Nung pandemic yun. No, <laughs> in <laughs> fairness. Na, hindi na ako nag-workout. Nag- Kita mo yung chan ko ngayon. Pero hindi na ako nag-workout ngayon kasi sobrang busy na din. Yeah, yeah. pero in fairness. Pero alam ko, excuse lang yun. I saw your post. Medyo nag-stalker mode kasi ako sa'yo na sabi ko, oh, tingnan nga natin. Tapos pinag, ay, ay. Uh, uh, Dabi, oh my god, Abs, cringe ay. yun. Cringe yun, oh my god. <laughs> hindi kasi yun yung type na siya, hindi kasi I've always been a chubby person, chubby kid. Okay. So, di ba, when you, pag medyo nakukuha mo yung body na gusto mo sometimes, I gusto post. mo i- Oh, oh. Tapos ngayon, post. pag looking back, parang <laughs> nahihiya ako. I <laughs> say, I say, deserve mo yung i-post. Yeah. Kasi you worked hard for it eh. Gets diba? naman, yeah. You worked hard for it. At, at hindi mo siya tinatanggal. So, hindi siya kasi cringe nang nasa Correct. isip mo. Alam ko na, tabunan na yun ng mga reels na ginawa ko. Umabot ka pala doon. Mabilis lang. <laughs> Guys, mabilis lang scroll Tignan nyo ang mga past posts. Sa nyo. Instagram ba to? Instagram. Instagram. Sa Facebook, hindi mo makakita. Pero hmm. sa IG. Mas... Hindi ako masyado mapost din sa Facebook ng personal na yes, mga ano. Yes, I noticed nga. Kaya naha- nakalungkat na. <laughs> Wait lang, Instagram ba din kayo yung parang bias nyo sa lahat ng apps? Or... Well, Ooh, we first depends found... Depends on ano. Depends on if you're asking about work or if you're asking about personal. Person. Personal. Okay. Personal, I'm IG YouTube. Uh, per- same. I'm IG Hala. YouTube. Yes. So oh, I'm... Reels at saka shorts talaga ako. I'm oh. ano, IG TikTok. IG TikTok. Matiktok to. Yeah. Na-convert siya. Na-convert. Super matiktok ko. And I, I, li- I like the SEO kasi of TikTok. So, ano yun? Parang yung search engine. 
Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you may mga suggested to choose. Yeah, yes. and then uh, if I need like recommendations for yung mga food or yung mm -hmm. mga places to go or parang how to, ano, how to unclog a toilet. TikTok Alam mo, totoo yan. Kasi sinasabi din sa akin ng mga friends ko ng Gen Z is, is yun na daw yung bagong Google nila. Yes, yes. True. That's so Kahit true. Kahit sa akin, ganun na rin. Oh. So if I need help na parang quick fix mm -hmm. or like parang may nangyari sa mga dogs, ah, Ano bang ginagawa ng ibang tao? And in comparison to like, let's say, YouTube, okay, how to fix your toilet, 10 minutes yung video, sa TikTok for yeah, yeah, seconds yeah, lang, yeah, so yeah, I was yeah, like, okay, yeah, yeah. Gets, gets. parang uh -huh. kumpak agad dun sa kailangan mo eh. Uh, I'm curious to why YouTube and IG personally. What what draws you to those two platforms? Kasi ano, gusto ko yung algorithm ng ng, ng Instagram and YouTube kasi fini-feed nila sa akin yung gusto ko talaga. At okay. least ha, that's how I see yeah. it. Sa TikTok kasi and Facebook, sobrang halo-halo. Mas kalat, no? Mas kalat. Oh. So, minsan, ano ba to? <laughs> so, yeah. sa, sa Instagram, parang feeling ko talaga, kilala nila ako personally kung ano yung oh. gusto ko mm -hmm. makita. So, at saka mas peaceful siya for me. Yes. I guess it depends. Ay, yes. Facebook, medyo ano, yes. jarring for me sometimes to read. So, yes. I just use that for work, to be honest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, IG, pampahapi ko yan. Yes. Or if I just wanna see updates about People, Correct. Dun lang ako. I may no observe ako dyan. Kasi yun nga, you were saying it's more peaceful, mas curated yung dating. Mm -hmm. Pero si Megan, minsan kasi may pagka uh, scatter, scattered ka rin minsan na okay lang sa akin na biglang may liko. Yes. Dun sa yes. pinafeed. Okay, okay lang siya. Okay boats. lang yun pag matutulog ka kasi random lang. Yeah. Yung hindi siya conscious effort yeah. na ito lang yung gusto mong mapanood. Like for example, sa YouTube shorts din, kay, kay sobrang random mga, mga slime videos. Yeah, slime yeah, yeah. Na. Okay, so speaking of random videos, what is your current parang algorithm ngayon na parang lagi mong sinescroll? Like, what is what is that kind of content? What is the algo of Davao Konya on IG? Sa Instagram. Sa Instagram yung mga dark humor talaga. Yung mga post na hindi ko nila like publicly. Okay. Binubukod ko. Ganun ka dark? Pacheck mamaya. Kasi pag nakita nila na Davao Konya like this one, baka i-cancel ako. Yung mga kasi fan ako na Family Guy. Oh, I love Family Guy. Diba? So, I mean, at saka gets ko rin naman. South Park. Yes. At saka hindi lahat medyo akma dun sa ganong kind of humor. Hindi siya Pinoy humor. Yes. So, ini-enjoy ko na lang in peace. So, yun yung algorithm ko sa reels. Dapat meron kang ano eh. Uh, alternate account. Parang burner account. Burner account. Hindi ganun ba kayo? Uh, Wala. Ko, Although I have, I uh, know we have a lot of friends na may burner account. Oh. Oh. Pero kasi, like, I don't really, like, stalk or anything. I just use my main account if I want yes. to see something. Ano tawag nila doon? At saka, it's an honor for people. Makita nila na, ano, nagtapanood ni, ano, ni, ni Megan yung ano ko, diba? So, hindi mo na kailangan gumawa ng account. Para ano siya. Swerte mo naman, tinanood ko yung ano. Tapos biglang dark humor pala yan. Tapos like, 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 like. At saka, kasi yun yung effect sa akin na parang, pag may mga ano ako, nakita ko na natatawa akong dark humor, tapos na may nakita akong kilala ko na nag-like, parang mm, gusto niya rin pala. Pero ah. ayoko yung, iba kasi yung parang, kilala ka ng public. Although yeah. hindi ko naman sinasabi na kilala ko ng lahat. Pero, I mean, you know what I mean? Sa ngayon, na parang everybody's looking, well, sino i-cancel natin today? Alam mo yung gano'n? No, so, mainit talaga ang mata sa ako. social media. Yes. Mainit ang mata ng tao. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, is this something you wanna talk about ba? Kasi it's something you went Pag-usapan natin lahat. Okay. Yeah, Pag-usapan natin. Back. Okay, wait, bago natin gawin yun, I'm curious lang kasi na-mention mo. Uh, kanino ka pinaka-kinilig nung nakita mong nanood or nag-like dun sa video mo? Like, is there someone that comes to mind at first? Yeah. Even nung, kahit nung na-start pa? Yes. Siguro kay Bretman at saka kay Miss Regine. Napanood nila ako sa Twitter naman. Ay, si Ate Reg? Uh, 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 si Ate Reg. Oh, si Tolentino. <laughs> Regine Velasquez. Uy, Uy kailangan mo nalulun na. Ba't si Ate Reg? Si <laughs> Regine Velasquez. Napanood niyo. Parang nire-tweet niya yata yung isang um, ano ko, video ko sa Twitter. Kasi dati active pa ako yeah. sa Twitter. Tapos okay. in, suddenly hindi na. Tapos si Bretman din. So, yun yung parang mga early ano ko, memory na parang hala. Parang syempre nava-validate ako na napapanood. Kasi Nakakilate. syempre busy itong mga taong to. So, yun. Tsaka nakaka-relate sila eh. So, parang I feel like the content that you create is very... I know, I was like a, I was like a frog. <laughs> I feel like the content that you create is very relatable. And Thank you. It's great when other people can like have that common factor. Yes, parang shared experience. Yeah, yeah. So, parang it, it just brings everyone together. And I don't know, how does that feel for you when you have so many people liking your stuff, relating mm -hmm. to your stuff? How does that feel? I want more. Charis. <laughs> Go lang. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Wait, <laughs> joke lang. Hindi, naana din ako. Like what you said, syempre nababalidate ako. And ako, ako lang to, I don't think I'm funny, pero my contents are relatable. 
And parang uh, byproduct na lang yung funny. Kasi mm. ala, naalala ko yung mama ko dito, naalala ko yung friend ko dito, naalala ko yung classmate ko na hindi ko da- gusto dati. Kaya siya nagiging funny. Pero ako personal, I don't think I'm funny na parang super slapstick, mm-hmm. na parang madadapa ako or nakakatawa yung itsura ko, parang ganun. Siguro yun lang, yung parang I really focus more on the relatability. Tapos gagawan ko na lang ng bale. It's all about the experience. It's all about the experience. And mahilig din ako mag-research siya. I, I can't rely na kung ano yung na-experience ko kasi hindi ko naman experience lahat. So what I do is, um, halimbawa, pag nag-people watch ako sa, sa coffee yeah. shop, ayun, nakikinig ako minsan ng mga conversation. Which is, hindi ko kasalanan kung malakas boses nila. <laughs> Katulad niya. Katulad niya itong Mikael Dyson. Hugas ka may agad, ha? Hugas ka may agad. I mean, hindi ko nakasalanan yun. Alam mo yun. Pero may mga ano ka, ah, So, minsan pa din. Or minsan parang tumitingin ka, may katabi ka, nakita mo yung text message. Exactly. Eh, sorry, di ba? Hindi ko naman exactly. kasalan. Napatingin diba? na ako. So, um, madaki sa skit ko. Parang ganun, <laughs> mga ganun ka agad. At saka ito din, parang, um, minsan sinasabi ng iba na, hindi ka pa nauubusan ng content. Pero for me kasi, as long as may content yung ibang tao, hindi ka rin mauubusan. Yes. Because, pwede ka namang kumopya, pero make it your own. Exactly. Kasi wala nang original ngayon. Aminin natin. Parang, so, parang, parang ginawa na yun ni ano eh. Parang, oh, ginawa niya na dati. Pero ginawa, how, how did I make it as my own? As your own. Yeah. And I think that's so important. Kasi, it's just like movies, mm-hmm. songs, mm-hmm. books. There will always be a common factor. Uh-huh. But you still have to make it your own. Siyempre, ang pangit naman nung kukopyahin mo word for word, yes. shot per shot, yes. pareho. Yun talaga, alam mo, ay, ginaya, girl. Yes. I love the book one. Correct. I love you, the book one. Guys, At this point, I'm okay, not kidding. I love, it's love. It's love. It's love. Kayo na lang. Kayo na okay, lang. wait. Palit ko kayo ng spoilers. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Alam mo bakit? Yung na-mention mo, you said na parang um, about copying yeah, or yeah. imitating. I always tell that to my other friends and colleagues. I was like, the content kung na na-enjoy nyo, mm-hmm. gayahin nyo. Yes. Pero the thing is, in the process of like saying, okay, I want to imitate this, mm-hmm. ilabas nyo yung personality yeah. nyo. Yes. So a lot of the content that we create was It's always inspired. inspired from other people. Okay. Pero never be afraid to inject your personality. Because as soon as you inject your personality, automatic unique na yun. Yes. Akala nyo kinokopya nyo, unique na pala siya. Yes. You set yourself apart already. So I really like that. And a lot of people... Also say na parang, it's so hard to create content, I don't know what to create. But I think it's really just a lot of people having that parang, barrier. that barrier thinking and being afraid that, ayoko ko si Gumaya or ayoko ganito. Pero mm-hmm. the thing is, in that process na itatry mo lang, yes. you'll actually That's find something you for yourself. Yeah. Correct. Usually, and I'm sure naman na kayo minsan na-enjoy nyo rin yung Western humor, especially on Reels. Super. So ako kasi, mostly, siguro 90% is Western humor yeah. din. Yun yung maganda ilocalize. Paano mo siya ibibring to the panlasa ng Pinoy? How do you make it Galing Pinoy yan. humor? How do I make it Pinoy humor? Ginaya ko lang yung sinabi ko. Pero, <laughs> pero parang yun, di ba? Parang paano mo siya, paano mo siya isi-scale down? Kasi parang, I mean, hindi, hindi to ano, pero parang this is too smart if ito yung gagawin ko talaga. Yeah. So, pa, paano ko siya gagawing local version? And sometimes you just want to make things light mm-hmm. and happy. Di ba? May mga content din tayong ganun na. Mm-hmm. I know that you have a lot of very, I mean, before, you, like, you would put out uh, informational stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. Or like, parang you're teaching, but in a more entertaining way. Yes. Mm-hmm. So parang ganun yung nakikita ko sa content mo before. Uh, but I feel like some people that are consuming content just mm-hmm. want something light or they just want to be entertained after a long day na, mm-hmm. okay, this is my escape. Yes. IG Reels, YouTube Shorts, TikToks are my escape from the real world. Correct. Correct. So I feel like that's something that we offer to the general public. Yes, and um, na, na feel mo may sasabihin ako seryoso kasi gumana. Yes, na. yes. <laughs> Hindi kasi ito din yung sinasabi ko sa iba na parang um, 6,000 views lang. Tapos parang naano na sila na parang napanghinaan na sila ng loob. Tapos ini sinasabi ko na try to imagine 6,000 people, gather yes. them. Ang dami na nun. Kasi syempre, And ito din, um, hindi din ako mahilig manood ng um, local content creators na funny din sa TikTok and sa Instagram kasi ayoko mag-compare. Mm. Hingitera kasi ako. <laughs> <laughs> hindi totoo yun, pero like, madali ako maingit. At so, you know. Para, oh, para, para makontrol ko, hindi na lang ako manonood mm-hmm. kasi ayoko compare na parang, oh, mas, para mas funny siya. Para. Yeah. <laughs> At saka, para, li, para, lang, para lang din sure ako na kung ano mo yung ginagawa ko. Parang alam ko na hindi siya product na kasi na pressure ako or, or ng inggit. So, ba't ko nga ito sinasabi? Ayun, ka, parang huwag ka masyadong mapanghinaan ng loob kasi huwag mo i-compare na hala siya 100k views tapos mm-hmm. yung akin ganito lang. Yeah. Kasi, iba-iba din naman talaga ng taste yung tao. At saka, nandiyan pa yung algorithm. Minsan, kakalabanin ka ng algorithm, sure. di ba? So, Pili mo ang ganda-ganda ng video mo tapos parang, tutuloy nanonood, parang ganun. Kaya naku, Facebook. Sure. <laughs> Fe- But, na weird din ka sa algorithm na Facebook. Minsan weird siya. I love the algorithm mm-hmm. of Facebook. But, gusto ko din eh. 
Pa may ibubulong ko sa TikTok ko medyo ano, sa TikTok ko medyo confused. Ah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes actually okay, so since you post all your content mm-hmm. on the all, all platforms, we do the same kasi. Mm-hmm. So for us there are some videos na parang patok na patok sa TikTok, pero yes. sa IG super wale and vice versa. Mm-hmm. And, pero same time to lahat. Yes. Same time lahat. Ah, same, same time. time. You got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. same time din kasi para pa cross check ko talaga. Yeah. Hindi ko pa din masabi ah kasi ito sobrang early in the morning ito no, gabi. No, 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 no. So same time all. Same. And another reason why we do it at the same time mm-hmm. is because may mga mabibilis rin diyan na kung pinost mo dun sa isa at hindi mo pinost sa ibang platform wala. Ah, uh, na. Nakuha na nila. Yeah. Usually nang uh, I experience yeah. we've we've experienced that a couple of times. Kasi minsan mas malaki pa yung views nila. Oh, yun yeah. di. We've experienced yes. that. Kaya sabi ko bonus sila nung pakialam. Mm-hmm. We're posting right. at the same time para hindi tayo maagawan ng views. Yes. Oh, oh. Eh, syempre, parang it's the digital space. So, they mm. can do anything with your yes. content. And it's hard to, ano eh, it's hard to fight that back eh. Yeah. So, parang might as well just go lang dun, go. Correct. Kung mm. pumatok, adi, okay. Okay, o, oh, me naman, I have something. Okay, okay, okay. Kumahaba na eh, pero ang ganda na na usapan niya. Pero ang dami-dami ko ng questions. Sinulat ko na, usually I don't. Ay, nakatulog na nga sila. Ito nga si Soba, palapit na ng palapit eh. Ayan, sabi ko sa iyo. Eh. Pero sweet talaga nila pag yeah. nagpa-podcast tayo. No? Ay, ay, So, ano yung question? Okay, oh, ito na. <laughs> Na-distract na tayo. <laughs> so, ito. Uh, you just mentioned nga na you don't find yourself funny. Mm-hmm. Pero gets ko yung sinasabi mo eh. I guess yung slapstick comedy. That's yeah. not you. That's not me or Megan either. Yeah. Pero you have timing. And I'm sure you know you have timing. Yes. Has that always been there? Like, mahirit ka bang tao with your friends or your family ever since? Mm-hmm. Or nag-develop lang ba yan as you started to explore your creativity? I think a little bit of both. Pero, um... In real life kasi, uh, even if you ask my closest friends, kung tatanungin mo, sino ang pinaka-funny sa grupo ninyo, eh, eh, hindi siya ako. Oh, hindi oh. Sa la- Probably sa lahat ng circle na part ako, there's always someone na funnier na, yeah. thank God, hindi siya nag-content creator. So, <laughs> <laughs> Papatok sila. Ah, alam mo, <laughs> may mga friends <laughs> tayo eh. Diba? Kukunin ko lang yung mga jokes mo, pero huwag ka naman content creator. <laughs> may napakalam ko naman, pero hindi kasi ako talaga, ako yung type of person na parang, halimbawa, yung pagdating, natin, pagdating ko kanina, mas gusto ko yung mga chill lang na conversation. Yeah. Hindi ako yung mga, hey, 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 hey. Alam, may joke ako. Well, hindi ako ganun. And hindi din ako, hindi din ako like sobrang ingay in person. Mm-hmm. Um, pero alam ko talaga ang dami ang dami kang funny thoughts yun na lang yes. siguro ang dami kang funny thoughts hindi ko lang siya sobrang ina-act out yeah. like kahit in real life or behind um, camera and um, actually yung Davao Konyo is a brand that I created para alter ego ko siya para ma-separate ko yung Philip, Philip. at saka Davao oh. Konyo which is Meron din akong na-encounter before and I've always heard about this tip na parang for you to become a successful successful content creator you have to be your truest and authentic self. Mm-hmm. Well, while that's true, I think na meron ding other side sa Sakoy na parang if feeling mo na sobrang boring ka in real life which is ako yun, why don't you create something that the people will love? Yeah. Yes. So, yun yung ginawa ko. Kasi sa totoo lang kung sasabihin nila mag-vlog ka, ganun, a day in a life, yeah. well, wala talaga manonood kasi kahit ako na bobore ako sa sarili ko. Kasi puro content lang ba ginagawa mo? Yeah, at saka <laughs> Ako yung parang gusto ko manood lang ng TV. Yeah. Alam mo yung Chill lang. Oo, oh, oh, hindi lang. ako yung parang life of the party talaga. Yeah. No, I get uh, that. And I feel like may misconception din yung mga tao sa mga artista or yung mga content creators. Mm-hmm. Like kung ano napapanood nila mm-hmm. on social media, on TV, mm-hmm. yun din yung expectation nila in person. Yes. So like for... For for you, I'm sure people assume that you always you're always there to crack a joke. Yes. You always have something funny to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, parang pag nakilala ka nila, they're like, ah, mahiyain pala yeah. siya. And minsan fear ko yun. Kasi baka, parang yung parang never meet your heroes. Parang ganun. Kasi, ah! Ah, yeah, yeah. kasi sometimes parang people, True. parang minsan na-appreciate ko naman na sasabihin nila, ah, hindi ka pala ganun ka ano in person. Mm-hmm. Parang may mga times din talaga na, may joke ka ba? Parang ganun, parang gago ka ba? <laughs> <laughs> ano to feeling mo naglalakad lang ako sa BGC tapos nag-iisip ako sana may lumakit sa akin kasi may knock-knock ako alam mo yung ganun hi Davao Konyo mag-joke ka naman sabi mo it, ito yung Gcash ko baba <laughs> na so, ay pasend muna sa Gcash ko pero minsan worried din ako kasi ala baka ma-turn off sila sa akin kasi parang parang they created this parang expectation expectation of me tapos pag nakita na lang ako in person parang hindi pala siya ganun ka vivo mm-hmm. kaya din ako hindi ma live event yeah. pero pumunta ako ng power ma kasi binigay yung ano for free oh <laughs> naman <laughs> oh naman saka apple apple boy ako so bakit hindi pero hindi ako mahilig talaga mag live events kasi feeling ko ayoko ng ayoko na makil ang fantasy of people okay. if ever okay gets ko yun gets mm-hmm. ko yun i mean but i mean just to put it out there 
the best thing to do when you meet people is to just be nice. <laughs> yeah. Just be nice. Just Which is, not, hindi naman mahirap gawin sa diba? akin. Hindi yeah. naman siya mahirap. Pero mm-hmm. yun nga lang, they, you won't have a joke yun, on standby uh, uh, all the time. Correct, correct. Or just like, but, I mean, like, it, it's just, I think it just goes for anyone else. Like, for me, for example, parang people always expect me to be a beauty queen yes. or to always parang <laughs> <laughs> be nakapostura palagi. Uh-huh. <laughs> eh, lumalabas siya minsan, so suot yung basketball shorts ko. At or so, because of your vlogs, parang mas na-humanize kayo as, as, as people or as humans. Okay, uh, let's, let me yeah. share something. Okay. Naman. Okay, um, I told Megan that when she won Miss World for, I guess, the first next five years, she mm-hmm. was extremely, extremely conscious about how she looked, how she presented herself. Mm-hmm. Ayaw niya lumabas. Without bones, wait, wait, fo, fo, I'm going to like make up for like one hour. Yeah. Like, oh, Kailangan God, full ano makeup as in style. Yes. And at first, I was okay with it. But it came to a point na parang uh, lumabas na siya as Marimar, she was doing different teraseries already. I told him, her bones, na, even for business, I think I told you this because yeah. of business, I was like, bones, people already know you're a beauty queen. So people know you look good. Mm-hmm. So that isn't something you have to prove anymore. Yes. Now the problem is, when I look at your Instagram, I don't know anything else about you. Yeah, put I don't know, I didn't know you. Uh, oh. That's when yeah. she started playing games and posting about their games, yeah. posting yes. about her working out and eating out again. Because I was like, bones, if I'm a client, I know you're pretty already. That's what mm-hmm. you're known for. But if I'm gonna give you work, I need to know something else about you. Para mabagay ko yung mga campaign ko sa yo. Yes. And I think that's something we consciously tried to start develop. doing and develop for her. And at the same time, that made her more comfortable. I was like, come out on the vlog, show yourself. Enkoy ka pala, ang yes. ingay mo pala, <laughs> mahili ka pala sa K-pop. Mm-hmm. So that's an adjustment we consciously did during that time. Yeah. Ang sarap pala na problema mo, na alam na ng tao na maganda ka, so ano pa? Yes. Kasi yung iba baliktad eh. Oo, oh, oh. eh di, di, di ba? Di ba? Oh. Baliktad na ang pangit mo, maganda ka naman sa social media. Sarap na problema mo, so ano? Oo, oh, oh, di ba? Oh, so, oh, oh, effort ako magdamit, paglalabas ako kasi baka sabihin ng tao na dugit na pala yung person. Uh, so, 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 Dapat hindi mag-effort. Oh, alam na lang at na maganda kayo, so paano? Ano pa? Ano pa yung Wala eh, may corona eh. Wala naman tayo magagawa doon. Nakuha niyo eh. Pasensya na. Oh. <laughs> Pasensya ka na maganda ako. <laughs> Pero da, is it because of social? Uh, kailan, ano ba yung year na masasabi niya na sumabog talaga yung social media? Oh wait, sabay natin sagutin to. Damn. Bones. Okay. Sabay-sabay oh, curi- tayo tatlo ah. Hindi, tayong dalawa. Tayong, ah, tayong dalawa. dalawa. Oh. I'm curious kasi if we're gonna say the same year. Oh, okay. Think about your year. I have a year in mind. Okay, three. Wait, wait. I, I want Philip to join us also. Hindi, para sa atin. Hindi, ah, okay, is Philip will answer okay. naman after. Uwi na lang muna. Sige, <laughs> <laughs> go, go. Okay, game. Okay. Different yung kwento niya. Three, two, one. 2020. 2020. Damn! Yun din yung sagot ko. Yeah. Hindi nga! Oy! Gano ba yan? Hindi 2020 yung parang everyone. It event out the playing field yeah. for everyone. Kahit celebrity ka, kahit normal yeah. person ka lang. Like, I'm not saying it like lang kasi ako, isa naman ako dun. Pero like, Okay. Even out the playing field. Everyone Why? Knows. Explain yes. Explain that. What's the story there? Because we have a really good yeah. one about that. Probably because, yun, we were forced to stay sa bahay. Mm-hmm. And lahat ng tao is, they're with their phones lang. With the internet. Hindi maapektado yung internet nun. So, and of course, TikTok. Tapos, with TikTok naman, is parang, doon na feel ng mga tao na, hala, may mga manonood pala sa akin kahit ito lang yung ginagawa ko. Mm-hmm. Kahit nagdidig ako ng halaman. Or kahit nag- story time lang ako. Pwede pala. So, feeling ko naging push yun sa a lot of people na kahit, kahit anong gusto mong gawin, may space for you yes. sa internet. Oo. True. Yun. True. Come And in... even celebrities, parang they started um, humanizing themselves. Correct me if I'm wrong. Pero like, you see celebrities like doing like cooking. Yeah. Mga ganon. Or like yung mga kinukwento nila yung mga past experiences nila. Like, These are the things na hindi ka naman magkakaroon ng chance to share it unless nag-guess ka sa Star Talk or sa The Buzz. Ang luma na ng Star Talk. Na- <laughs> very, very, very. Oh, oh. Hindi na date ka dun. Oh, oh. Na-date ka dun. Diba? So, parang yun lang yung mga chance na pwede kang magkwento pero because of the internet, pwede na. Or YouTube, yeah. ganun. Anong kwento mo? Okay, for me, um, very similar to what you mentioned. When the pandemic hit and lockdown started, lahat ng mga contracts sa GMA, ABS, CBN, TV5 na suspend. Yeah. Like literally so, whatever you were earning. Pwede sabihin dito? Yeah. Oh, Ay, okay lang yun. Nag-stop, okay. nag-stop yun. Kasi nag-post yung work eh. Yeah. Nag-post so, lahat ng, 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 lahat ng kumpanya. Was it, it, it lasted for a while. A couple of months at the very least. Maka six months siguro. Oh, so matagal siya. So literally six. drop everything. Mm-hmm. And if you expected to earn money at a certain time, mm-hmm. wala na yun. It's either that got pushed back or it got cancelled. Correct. Mm-hmm. So kami ni Megan, syempre parang at first, Okay, ano dito? Mm-hmm. What's going to happen? But then, we realized 
everyone started doing vlogs. Every started do everyone started doing podcasts. Yeah. And that's when it hit me, and we were talking, and I was like, Bones, we literally have a studio. We have this. Yes. At that time, we were doing So all we did was level it up times 10. Right. But uh, sorry, you did the studio because? Wala lang. Well, we've always had a home studio. Namin. Mm-hmm. We've mm-hmm. All, I've always start, I, I started vlogging in 2013. Mm-hmm. I was in the cameras. Mm-hmm. I was into content ever since. Early, early. So we yung journey namin with content very, very early. Mm-hmm. And because of that, very comfortable. Kami. So I told Bones, mm-hmm. advantage na natin to. Natural mm-hmm. advantage natin. Others are gonna have to buy equipment. Mm-hmm. Others are gonna have to learn how to edit, how to shoot, etc. etc. Delta technical skills. I said, itodo na natin to kasi hindi na tayo mahapul. Yes. So that's basically what we did. So kaya nag-boom kami noong 2020. Everyone eventually was going to catch up. Naturally. Everyone yes. will always catch up. That's why you always need to look for something new. Mm-hmm. Always try out something new and innovate. Mm-hmm. So, but that's when it started talaga. And that's where we realized, oh my God. This can really be our career outside of TV. To jump off of that, one of my good friends said, if there's an app mm-hmm. and the, everyone has it on their phone, you know it's made it. So You know it's what? You know na para nag boom. Ah, okay. That app okay. has made it. Mm-hmm. It started with ML. Diba? Damn, parang I don't bif- play ML. But Mobile Legends to, diba? Mobile oh, okay. Legends. Oh, oh. Mobile Legends, parang mm-hmm. people were getting into it, but not everyone had it. Mm-hmm. But during the pandemic, something like boom. Because everyone was just at mm-hmm. home. Everyone was playing every single day. TikTok mm-hmm. was not a super big thing before. Yes. People would do music Cali. Yeah. Diba? Gina judge ko yung mga taong nagaganon-ganon dati, tapos ako din pala. <laughs> Ikaw din pala. Oh, oh, oh. Yung ending mo. Yung sinabi ko. Meron pang dub smash, diba, before. Yes. So parang, uh-huh. or Vine. Vines. And mm-hmm. then people would, a niche group of people mm-hmm. would use it. Pero not your average Joe, not like your grandparents wouldn't use it. Mm-hmm. Diba? But now, every single person that we work with on the set, mm-hmm. everyone, our director uses TikTok. Yeah. And he's not like a techie person, yeah. but he uses an app like TikTok. So you know that this app is so big because every single person has it on their device. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess just go, jumping back to that, that's really when we started from the vlogs, the shorts, and that's when she started streaming her video games. Yeah. So, sumabog talaga kami in terms of digital content. We really but started... Ang dami yung tinouch base. Yes. Para may gaming, may lifestyle. Lahat tinouch base talaga. Lahat. Kasi sinabi na, Bones, ito na yun. Wala, ako, wala akong pakialam. Go. Was it a conscious decision? Yes. It just happened. No. It, conscious decision. Conscious decision yun. Mm, Kasi conscious at decision. that point, I wasn't conscious mm-hmm. about who I was and... Parang what I what other people expected mm-hmm. of me. Parang sabi ko bahala na, basta ito ako. Yeah. Papakita ko na. Kung if you don't like it then okay lang. Yeah. Basta, but you didn't have reservations like table for two charing hindi. Pero like wala ka bang reservations na baka ma turn off sa kasi meron. I did. Mm-hmm. A lot, especially with brands. Kasi sure bread and butter ko yun. Yeah. Bread and butter namin yung brand work. Yeah. Yung gaming mo, yung gaming ano mo, yeah. yung decision to go gaming. Akala ko parang brands would not get me dahil gamer ako. Kasi iba eh, mm. negative connotations. No, 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 no. This is the start even. Even before that part, just starting, kasi we were playing games, nag-ragdorok pa kami noon. Mm-hmm. And then, grabe. Uh, grabe. Uh, 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 and grabe talaga siya. Grabe kami mag-game. The thing yeah. is, her, after Ragnarok, mag-start do valley pa siya. Oh, so I was like, ano ba to? Wala na ba tayong ginagawa? Sabi yeah. ko, Bones, di ka na pwede mag-games kung di mo isi-stream yan. Yeah. Kung hindi ka magtatrabaho with your games, yeah. then you, enjoy you cannot yeah. justify the time you put into yeah. this. Yeah. Ayaw talaga niya. She was, I, I had to force her and mm-hmm. tell her, Bones, all you have to do is be yourself. Yes. And true enough, she was one of, no, she was the first beauty queen slash game streamer in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. And that was the exact time that Facebook gaming opened up. They opened yes. up their gaming division. So it became an opportunity right away. Yeah. And they saw her, syempre, yeah. beauty queen natin, all of a sudden, gamer. Yeah. Oh, sige, siya na yung queen din natin. Ano mo monetize ba? Yes. Before, yes. Yeah, yeah, until, up Bones, until now. Even until now. Pero grabe din before. Grabe din ang before. Ko, ang laki ng kinikita ng gamers sa ano. Gamers. Super. Okay, Pero, so, uh, I always tell this story to everyone I meet asking about games and streaming. The number one esports player, uh, from what I know, earns more than LeBron James in one year. Ano an- an- lalaro niya? Depends. I don't know what the number one game is now. But I think I looked at this stat before, right before the pandemic. 
2019. Would it be League of Legends? Pero hindi siya Pinoy. Hindi siya Pinoy. Hindi siya Pinoy. Pero it just tells you parang how much money is sloshing around the gaming industry. The esports industry. Yes. Na to the point now, gusto na lang ilagay yung esports dun sa SEA Games. Yes. They want to make it an official sport na rin. So I was like, galing nga. So that's always, it's another rabbit hole that you can jump into if ever you're a gamer. But see, that just ano, proves that there is really a space for everyone. Yes. Oh, yeah. Everything's yes. on the internet na talaga. Yeah, and I think parang th- what you just said, I think that resonates with a lot of people. Because a lot of my friends who say, I, I want to start this kind of channel, this kind of content, parang sinasabi nila, ay, wala nang space siguro para sa akin. Or, or baka, it's too late. Or it's yeah. too late. Yeah. Yeah, Pero yeah, yeah. ako, I don't agree with that. Eh. Mm-hmm. There is space for everyone. And there's, yeah. I mean, you just started. But yeah. I, I'm curious also, kasi... Now that Mikael mentioned that we have friends kami who want to start with content creation mm-hmm. or with gaming, do a lot of people also ask you for advice on how to start? Yes. So, like, mm. what would be a common question that they ask? I don't respond para wala akong competitor. Sorry, si Dennis. Ang sinasabi ko talaga is block charing. Um, ang sinasabi ko talaga is um, I think na 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 share ko rin to sa story ko kahapon kasi nagpa Q&A din ako mm-hmm. sa story ko na parang sobra important ng branding. But and some people may say na ang corny naman ng branding, mm-hmm. parang magti-TikTok lang naman ako. Da. Pero if you're really in it for the long haul, yes. importante yung may branding talaga. Ta- nasagot ka ba yung question? Yes. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes. so yun. So yun yung parang top three things na sinasabi ko na yung priority talaga is for you to have a clear branding. Like for example, the question that would fall under that is ano yung mga feelings na gusto mo ma-feel ng viewers pag pinapanood ka? Pag narinig nila yung name mo or yung content mo, ano yung gusto mong maramdaman nila first? Yeah. Ganon. Ganon yung may strong Nag-notes na sila. <laughs> like for example, ako the way I see it, when you, see, when you say Davo ko na parang gusto ko sarcastic humor, yeah. gusto ko shared experiences, mm-hmm. gusto ko short and quick yeah. um, smile or laugh. Ganon. Tapos, yun. Um, magpo-flow through na lang yung rest. Like taking care of your audience, um, getting the brands na kay... Kasi, ito din yung gusto kong sabihin eh, na parang ang dami kasing pinapanganak na content creator every day. Yeah. Every day. And feeling ko yung iba na siya shock na with all the attention. And of course, yung mga brands, hala, ang dami nanonood sa kanya, kunin natin siya. Mm-hmm. And feeling ko, ang respons- responsibility ng content creator is you need to filter out the brands that you work with kasi mm-hmm. it will really reflect you as a person. Yeah. And of course, yun din yung reflection sa'yo ng audience mo. Baka ma-turn off sila yun. Na parang, ba't pigla siyang ano, napapromote ng ganito? Wala na. Alam mo yun? Yeah. And kaya may ibang content creators na sobrang nafe-feel mo pag-branded yung content. Yes. 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 Oh, I'm, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, wait. I'm, since we're talking about okay, strategy, I want to just go back kasi I wanted to ask this question ganina pa. Uh, you said that after your first six or seven posts, you got a branded post already. Yes. Which is extremely, extremely quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the way you're talking now and making kwento, I oh, think na you're very strategic and you're very sharp. So did you have a strategy at the very beginning? Because from you to go to six posts and then, I branded content and mm-hmm. then parang you knew how to talk to a brand, which yeah. is a skill in its own. Mm-hmm. Parang some people don't know how to engage. Mm-hmm. So para sa akin, what skills did you have and what strategy did you have in mind when you started? Mm. And now, how has that strategy evolved? Like, what are you doing now in comparison to that? Yeah. Paano ba? A- aminin ko na hindi ko ginawa yung... St- hindi ko, hindi ko nagsimula sa content creation because I wanted to get deals. Or okay. This is, be- this is something that I want to do for, for, the, for a long time. Siguro nangyari lang yung strategy nung na-realize ko na, hala, may willing pala magbayad sa akin. Mm. Because, so... Pero before pa yon yung strategy ko talaga is, yun nga, nag-mention ako ng brands for free. Uh-oh. Kasi, I mean, para lang, para lang may ano sila, na pwede pala. Pwede pala yeah. maglagay ng... So just in case, at the back of your head, you're like, may potential na yung ginagawa Kailangan ko. Kailangan mapansin. Kasi yeah. at the very start, right. ginagawa mo na yun. Yes, and as I was doing it, kahit hindi pa ako umabot na sa first, ano ko, parang partnership ko, yun na yung wini-wish ko, na sana mag-sponsor yung ganitong brand, kasi lagi ko silang mini-mention, parang ganun. Baka sa meron na nga. Okay. And tapos, kahit nung hindi pa din ako sponsored, even sa mga free content ko, yeah parang gusto ko mag-mention ng brand din kasi para masanay ma, ma, ma rewire yung 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 thinking ng audience ko na okay pag dabaw ko niya may sasabihin siyang brand kami oh, na mag-figure yeah. out kung kung collab- collaboration ba talaga to or sinabi niya lang yeah, yes. and parang for me 
parang sobrang nagpapasalamat ako because I planted seeds early. For example, yung mga time na yun na hindi pa ako ganun kalaki in terms of being a creator, mahilig na ako mag-mention ng brand. So, ngayon, na medyo, ang dami ng brands na lumalapit sa akin, hindi na siya awkward. Easy, hindi na siya yeah. awkward. It's awkward. It's easier for your audience to absorb. And it's easy for Philip to, yes. to integrate a brand kasi sanay na. And sobrang thankful talaga ako na halabuti na lang din talaga na doon na sana yung audience. Alam niyo ba, may time yun na Sige, mag-upload ako ng mga free content. Naghahanap sila. Yung Baka brand? Na, oh, sa TikTok or sa Instagram. but walang ad? but walang ay! promotion? Uh, Oo, oh, inahanap pa nila ako. May nag-comment na kayo na parang, hala, nasa premium version ba ako ng Davao Konyo? Kasi walang ads. Ay, may nag-comment na gano'n. Ang ganda So, free time na, kasi, yun yung, dati kasi nag-upload lang ako pag-branded. Yeah. And, ang sabi sa akin ni Miss Rai, shout out Miss Rai from Meta, is, um, I have to, upload more content which yeah. sounds super tiring pero ganun naman talaga wala yung walang pakialam yung algorithm sa mental health yeah. natin yun yung totoo so so upload 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 so sabi ko sige paano ko mag-upload upload eh for example may seven branded deals lang ako this month eh 30 days in a hmm. month so yung rest na yun if free ko so yun yung time na parang upload ako na upload as people were trying to tell me na but walang promotion but walang promotion so at first parang hala baka ayaw nila or nasanay na rin kasi yeah. sila eh. yeah so, ngayon, nakukuha ko yung best of both worlds na na-enjoy ko gumawa ng content for free and at the same time, okay din naman yung may nagbabayad sa akin, of course. How How is it for you working with brands? Because I feel like your content Wait, is can so... we, before we, I have another one. Oh, before we get to that one? one. What one? was your job prior to? Ah, ano, nag, nag-CSR ako sa Globe dati. Um, and then after, nag-San Miguel din ako, sales. Oh, wow. Pero mga five months ako doon, Miss uh-huh. Megan, kasi pinagbibenta ako. Zai! Zai! Zai at Zong. Mga five months ako doon kasi pinagbibenta ako ng manok kasi sales na eh. <laughs> pinagbibenta ka ng manok? Kaya introvert ako. Alam mo, hindi ako yung parang, di ba kailangan ko nasa sales at kailangan magaling ka mag-sales to. Pero ako yung person ako, ayaw bumili ng manok, di wag ba? <laughs> eh, hindi naman pwede yun. So, parang, parang hindi bagay sa'yo yung trabaho yun. Hindi ako nagtagal. Hindi ako nagtagal doon na parang, so sa kung dito for me so after nun sa third job ko nag virtual assistant ako pero may company ako sa da- ah, may company ako na inaplayan sa Davao tas house kami as ah. VAs and then after that sabi ko parang kaya ko na mag solo so nag VA mo na ako for a year and then y- yun ang yari yung Davao ko niyo I was thinking ah baka dapat mag live selling ka pero yung totoo mong personality gusto ko rin mag live selling pero sobrang nakakapagod siya minsan yes. nagla live ako sa Instagram parang nakakapagod siya yeah. Yeah. Ibang kahit na one way lang din. siya no Ibang months, nagli-live selling ba kayo? Hindi pa. No, no. But we, we want to try it out. We know, we want to try it out. Like I said, it. Also, always... Oh, Pilo ka social yung magbenta. <laughs> Pero gusto na kayo kayo lang. Do you want to buy this manok, please? <laughs> Pero kayo 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 lang. <laughs> Kamay kami lang. Enjoy Kamay lang. Like, gusto lang namin magsaya. Social yeah. media is an adventure. Damn. And yeah. I think it's ever-evolving and always changing. Yes. And I think because of that, Sobrang saya niya. Yeah. I mean, especially when you found parang your place. I mean, I've, we've, I've been working for 13 years, Megan, for almost 20 years. La! <laughs> parang kahit pa pan, okay lang yan. <laughs> 20 years ago? Yung starstruck ba? Starstruck 14 uh, oh. years old lang kasi ako noon. Oh, 20 years ago na pala yun. Yeah, diba? Totoo ba? 20 years ago yun? 19. Oh, almost 19 20. years ago. Almost. Damn! Ah! Nanay. Diba? Shucks. Okay, nagulat Pero yun. Kasi hindi lang bago lang yun. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, pero yung landscape natin, parang napakasaya ng trabaho natin. Sa yeah, super saya. Because, ang daming adventure. Hindi natin alam kung ano yung susunod. Eh, mamaya may super app na lalabas next right. month. Pero hindi ka ba natatakot ang arte nun? Pero I mean, like, like, tama yan. Tama yung oh, question yan. Go, go, go. Kasi natatakot ako na parang, baka, kasi diba, halimbawa, yung mga parents natin or yung mga lolo-lola natin is parang, sila yung parang, hindi nyo kasi mag-gets yung technology. Uh-uh. Natatakot ako na baka tayo na naman yung ganun. Yeah. Hindi ka maka-adjust, hindi ka makapag, kumbaga, switch gears ka agad. Kasi sobrang... Sobrang dami. And it's yes. all happening so fast. Kaya mm-hmm. kami ni Mikael, parang sige, try lang natin. Kahit di natin maintindihan, yes. go lang. Yes. Yun yung mindset namin na hindi kami na, hindi kami masastock. Yes. Kasi pag patuloy kami na isa lang yung ginagawa namin, parang oh, boring naman yes. ang ganyan. Oo. And ka- ka- kagaya na sinabi mo, kahit feeling natin late tayo sa trend, mm. sakay lang. Kasi yes. you're probably not late. Correct. So, Yun din ang algorithm, wala din pakailan yeah. kung kailan ka nagsimula. Minsan, oh, oh, minsan diba? namin pinapush nila na one year ago, yes. two years ago na parang... Correct, correct. Oh, 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 correct. Bakit kayo ko lang napapanood to? Oo, oh, may mga reels tayo na biglang, bakit 10M yung reel na to? Parang nung pinost ko to, 10,000 yes. reels lang. Correct, correct. <laughs> as long as it's there, kaya sa akin sinasabi ko rin na, huwag mo lang i-delete, hayaan mo lang. Oh. Wala naman nagmamonitor eh. Parang, may ibang nagde-delete ba ng content nila? Ganyan ako dati. Pag nag-upload ako, ano man I say that last week? Sorry, hindi. Yeah. Ganyan ako dati na parang feeling ko na, kasi syempre mahihiya ako na, 
Kasi minsan nagpaparefect ko na, hala baka corny. Pero kasi minsan talaga, kailangan mo na din isipin na sometimes, ganun lang talaga. And Iwan sometimes it ages gracefully. Yes. Tapos yeah. magpipik siya after a month or yun, sabi mo, like after, after one year. year. Iwan mo lang dyan. Yeah. As long as hindi naman siya problematic, as long as proud ka naman sa ginawa mo and wala naman nasasaktan. Iwan Another lang great lang. example. Six years later, hindi ko lang kung alam mo to, What? open fake fake. Ano yun? Oh my God! <laughs> Uy, open fake fake. Sorry, may, may, oh, i-bleep natin yun. Papakita namin siya, mami. Meron akong ano, interview na ginawa sa si Indonesia. Tapos super... Miss World 2013 to. Oo. Tapos parang the way that they said the words... Sa... Yung ba yung parang sa morning show? Yes. yes. Ah, yun napanood ko yun! Napanood yung ko yun sa TikTok! Yung open open, buka-buka! Ah! Oh my God, we were doing a teleserie around 2018, 2019, and all of a sudden, it was in all the news mm-hmm. shows. Grabe! Masay ka, Bones, ano to? Ano to? Naalala mo ba to? She's like, no, what is that? Yes. And then, ayan na, naging meme na siya. Oh, oh. Forever. Forever meme na niya yan. Every year, the, sasabog na sasabog yung mga content na yan. Bagong pangalan ko na nga, open fake fake eh. Uy, open fake fake, ha? Huh? <laughs> Minsan, kaya double-edged sword talaga. Tama pa yung term ko na double-edged. I mean, extremes talaga siya. It can work for you or it can work against you. That's why you really have to be careful yeah. with what you say. Kasi once you say it, and nasa internet na siya, Uh-oh. forever na siya nandyan. Reaction na nga lang yung Uh-oh. akin. Wala akong sinabi. Mm. Reaction Pero yun sa'yo naman nakakatawa, so okay Uh-oh. lang. Si okay lang yun. Si Ate kasi. Yeah. Minsan ba natatakot kayo na baka meron kayong mga ano, parang, baka may mga nasabi ako dati na mag-reservice, parang kinakabahan ka na, ala baka problematic yun. Uh, I feel, meron yes, din. Like, always. Worry, worry ko din yun. Kasi syempre, no, nung bata pa ako, parang pakul pa yung dating. Tapos, parang magpo-post ako na parang <laughs> F-word. Alam yung yes, gano'n? Yes, parang, correct, what correct, the correct, F-word? Correct, correct. Pero talagang ini-spell out ko. Mm-hmm. Tapos parang, Pagula OMG, siya. parang hindi yeah. nakaka-miss world yun ngayon. But during oh that God. time, I was like, cool ako. Yeah. Kasi na-post ko to. Right. And if I may ask, before yung mga gano'n, may PR ano ba na, eto, track mo lahat. Tapos, Alam Just mo, curious, wala, I genuinely do not know. Andun pa rin siya. Mm. Andun pa rin. Pero, I mean, napapagalitan ako ng Star right. Magic dati. Mm. Na parang, uy, huwag ka mag-post ng ganyan. Pero as a rebel child, right. bahala kayo sa buhay niyo. Mm. Gagawin ko yung yes. gusto ko. So, yung mga ganyan. Although now, now though, parang we always support one another and we cross-check each other's posts. Yeah. yeah. Just in case, ay, teka lang, Fofo, parang there's an issue about this. Don't put that word in. Mm-hmm. And it really helps because sometimes yeah. I'm also not aware of the uh, issues. Mas manuse siya ngayon eh. Yeah. Totoo. So, parang nagtutulungan din kami before we post mm-hmm. content na baka isipin ng tao sensitive even though that was not mm-hmm. the intention. Yeah. Correct. Baka kasi hindi ka Correct. aware dun sa situation. Kaya, Uh-oh. kailangan Correct. i-explain din. Yes. So that's something that we concern ourselves with. But you know what? I need to know now. Did we ever ask? Where did the Davao come from? I don't know. Ah, the Davao. Where did it originate? The brand na yun? Ito, correct me if I'm wrong. But by the way, when you say Manila Konyo, is yun yung parang Tagalog in, in English. Tama ba? When you say someone is Konyo, they talk na parang Tagalog and English. Yeah, parang Tapos ano, mga ri- ito, rich kid. Oh, oh, parang ganun. Grabe naman. Parang ganun. Sa Davao naman kasi, <laughs> ang term namin sa someone na nag, um, when they talk is halo Bisaya and Tagalog. Okay. Yun yung Davao Konyo. Davao Konyo. Kasi hindi siya dere-derecho na Bisaya. Ah, ah yes. Yeah. So, for kasi example, uh, nagkain ka na, uh, ah, magtawid yes. na tayo. So, hindi siya... Bo- Kapagod lagi. Oh, ganun. And, it's, it's, And then, bakit yun yung pinili mong name eventually? Kasi yun yung tinawag sa akin ng mga tao sa comment section. Kasi yung Davao Konyo na term is ano naman talaga siya. Familiar na siya sa mga taga-Davao. When oh, okay, someone talks okay. like, like, if you're from Ateneo, the Davao, yeah. a lot of students ganun magsalita. So, parang oh. kinoy na nila na Davao, mm-hmm. Davao Konyo magsalita. So, nung nagdadub na ako, Davao Konyo yung ginamit ko na language. Tapos, yes. Actually, Philip pa ako nun. Wala pa akong sariling page. Uh-huh. Tapos, people started commenting na, ah, nakakatawa yung Davao Konyo. Pero yung so, manisa yung Davao Konyo, the language. Yes. So, sabi ko na, ay, since wala pa namang creator na Davao Konyo yung name, gamitin ko na lang. Actually, funny nga, kasi when we met you at the event, hindi mm-hmm. ko alam kung ano yung tatawag. Oo, oo. Hindi, okay lang like, naman. Okay lang naman. Davao Konyo. Davao. Parang, Davao. Konyo. So, parang medyo may little factor siya at first, but helpful talaga na you have your name on IG para yes. at least ah, okay Philip yung name yeah. niya we don't have to guess I don't mind din naman if people call me by ano 
like dab dab yeah, on you. Sometimes nga, they call me the wrong name eh. Parang, "Uy, Makoy Dubs." Para, "Uy, para, mga ganun." And feeling ko gets ko yung Makoy kasi we yeah, did dubs same, before. Yeah. So, pero mean, pero okay lang sa akin, I really don't mind. Kasi sometimes naman people remember, ako ganun din ako eh. Yeah. I remember someone's face, pero sobrang forgetful ko sa name. So, yeah, medyo gets din, ko din. Yeah, mahirap din. But yeah, I mean that's Wait, can I go back to my branding question? Yeah, go go go. I, I mean, I'm we're going to keep on going jumping. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. We're jumping. Ulit, eh. Okay, so going back to brand work. May mga brands kasi na for those that don't know, may mga brands na super strict sila dun sa yes. guidelines nila. Mm. But for some certain content creators, like your content, it's mm. very curated to you. You don't really notice the brands in it. Mm. You don't have the brand colors. You don't have like the brand text. It's really just Davao Konyo yes. and parang may pa-insert lang yes. with the brands. Mm-hmm. How do you deal with clients that are very strict on their branding and the way that they want the video? Na parang commercial style na. How do you shift it na parang, and I guess inform them na, this is my content. Yes. And this is how. Ito yung style ko. Ito yung style ko. Mm-hmm. And if you want to work with me, this is how it's going to go. How do you deal with that? Na pagdadaanan yun yung ganon. Of course, oh, oh my god. Kasi naramdaman ko sa tao mo. And also, I feel like there are a lot of up and coming creators yes. that are starting to do brand work. Yeah. But bakay yung iba walang manager or they don't know how to deal with these Correct. things. Baka it's an experience that you can share with them. Yeah. And there are some clients who get influencers, pero parang hindi nila napanood yung ano. <laughs> Content. Correct. Pero hindi, pero pag, 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 pag nag, nasa Zoom call na kayo, ang sasabihin nila first is, we're such fans. Pero ipapagawa nila sa'yo, hindi mo naman ginagawa. Sabi nila, papatanong ka, pinapanood nyo ba talaga yung video ko? Pero going back sa question mo, um, Zai. Um, Zai. Push and pull talaga siya. Mm-hmm. Parang, syempre marunong akong makibagay. Nung una pa ako, nung hindi pa ako ganun sa, sa level ng creator ako ngayon, syempre parang, nagigets ko na parang wala pa ako sa authority na magsabi. Okay. Pero ngayon, medyo lumaki na yung audience ko. And it's because of the values that I follow. Mm-hmm. Ay, yun yung tinatry ko explain. Lagi ko sinasabi sa kanila na we're not doing a commercial. Gumagawa tayo na, gumagawa tayo na skit. Mm-hmm. Gets ko na pag, kasi yung iba din, feeling ko yung mga, yung mga decision makers din sa taas. Yeah. Feeling ko, yung mindset nila is, no, commercial! Dapat yeah. ito, ganyan, makita, ganyan. Mm-hmm. It's very billboard, TVC. So, ang sinasabi ko naman sa kanila na, Gets ko na binabayaran nyo ako for my followers. Mm-hmm. So, since binabayaran nyo ako because you're borrowing my followers or my supporters, ako yung best person na maghatid ng message sa kanila. Kasi yes. ako yung nasa gitna. So, mm-hmm. the brand, me, and then the audience. And the best way to get to my audience is through me. Yes. So, you can tell me how how you want things to be done kasi alam ko hindi yan magugustuhan ng audience yeah. ko. So, ang dami. May mga times na nagkakainita na talaga sa Viber. Oh, M! May mga ganong <laughs> instances talaga. Pero I really try my best na hindi magalit. Yeah. Pero, although minsan nafe-feel ko, na nafe-feel na rin nila ang tension. Uh-huh. Kasi, uh, ganun ako mag-text. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Long <laughs> message na. Long message na talaga. Kasi, in-explain ko talaga sa kanila na, um, ayaw ko rin masayang yung bayad nyo sa akin. Hmm. Kasi, babayaran nyo ako ng malaki. Gagawin ko nga lahat ng gusto nyo. Pero, sure ako lang manonood niyan. Has there ever been a deal na hindi na push through? Kasi, yes. Yes. Kasi hindi lang sila, hindi lang kayo magtugma dun sa yes. konsepto. Yes. Siguro okay. nangyayari yan mga, siguro mga 5 to 10 times a year. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, Ma- Ma- Malaki din pati yeah. yung ano. Or you know what? I believe na, means, d- dati kasi sobrang people pleaser ako. Okay. Na, kailangan mag yes ako, especially if these are paying brands. Pero ngayon, mas, mas, mas yung tiwala ko is, if they are the right people to deal with, they would understand. Okay. Yun okay. na lang yung iniisip ko. At saka ayaw ko na makilala ko as someone na yes man na parang ibigay niya yan kay Davao Konyo kasi gagawin niya yan. Mm-hmm. Gusto ko yung ma-challenge din sila na oh nga no, parang pwede natin i-try yung formula na gusto niya. Kasi ako din talaga, kasi nga doon sa formula na binigay ko kanina, di ba? Branding, audience, and then the brands that yes. you work with. So, for me, pipiliin ko lang yung brands if asa siya sa one at saka sa two. If okay, okay siya sa branding ko, if swak siya sa branding ko, and if swak siya sa audience ko. If hindi talaga, hindi ko talaga tatanggapin. And the ones na tinanggap mo, sobrang nag-fly. Yeah, I would like... Uh, Naiya! Right? Naiya! Na, pero, pero, Own it! Pero proud Claim ako. It. Pero proud ako. At saka sobrang na-appreciate ko yung mga brands na sobrang collaborative. Yeah. Recently, may lumapit sa akin parang parang six, six months yata na ambassadorship. And malaki yung offer nila mm-hmm. sa akin. What they want me to do is just post a 15 second lang na reel na umiinom lang ako ng... So, I'm sorry, but I didn't say it. You don't have to say the brand. Yeah, 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 sorry. But sa drinking. Uh, uh, yeah. Or i-bleep nyo na lang if ever madulas ako. Pero, kailangan ko lang uminom ng... Sabi ko, ano, 
kasi ako nang expect ako yeah. ng skit eh. so an- ano pa po ang pwede hindi yun lang uminom ka lang tapos dapat may mga pagkain sa ano kasi yun yung parang bra- gusto nilang iparating na message na siya yung perfect pair sa mga ganyan so, hindi ko siya tinanggap kasi sabi ko na hindi siya talaga ako yeah. and ang dali lang nun Zai ha kasi perfect pair Ay, parang alam ko yun na yung ba yung tagline nila dun Oh, Anong kulay ito? Naalala ko lang yung word. I have nothing against the brand. And I have nothing against the brief. Oh, Mamaya yeah. pag-isapan na natin. Oh, wala akong anything. Pero hindi lang talaga siya match. Yeah. Pero kung iisipin mo, if ever kailangan ko talaga ng pera, of course kailangan ko ng pera. Pero ang dali lang nun. Sobrang sobra easy money nun. Kasi once a month lang ako mag- mag-upload for 6 months and 15 seconds lang. Mm-hmm. Imagine mm-hmm. nun, hindi na ako mag-wig. Ang kati-kati ng wig. <laughs> <laughs> hindi na ako mag-base. Baka, hindi ko na susutin yung damit ng nanay ko. Pero like... <laughs> Ang sarap sabihin na go. Pero may so mahihiya ako pag lumabas to yeah. kasi ayoko ma-feel ng tao na he so she sell out. So medyo sobrang critical na siguro ako sa yeah. self ko. So they didn't even want like a skit or anything. They were just like mm, no. Ito lang gusto namin. I tried na parang gawin nating skit pero sabi sabi ko na pwede ba nating gawin 30 seconds kasi or at least 30 seconds to a minute para may may momentum ako sa punchlines. Yes. Eh, sobrang strict din talaga sila sa time mm. and sa ano. Again, I don't have anything against their brand. It's just that hindi lang talaga match. Yeah. And then, baka mamaya you'll find a brand na parang same product that will fit you yes. better. Correct. Yan. Yeah. In fairness, <clears throat> ah, like, yeah. it's it's <clears throat> refreshing to hear a content creator mm-hmm. talk about not accepting a job because of their principles. Yes. Because, syempre, most of the time, people will go for it. Tara, gawin natin which is kasi, gets ko din. Diba? Which like, gets ko din. Pakabuhayan. Yes. Pakabuhayan showcase talaga. <clears throat> Pero kasi ang trade-off din nun is mataturn off yung ano mo. At saka, as a content creator, or like, kayo din siguro gets yun naman na parang yung supporters mo, parang in a way, currency mo rin sila eh. Mm-hmm. Parang, of course, if you take care of them, in the future, you get to charge, you can charge higher. Yeah. Pero yung yung kalakip niyan is kailangan mo talaga alagaan yung audience mo. You, yeah. you can't just, I'm doing this for the money. Bahala na of kayo Of course, dyan. of course. One, I think si Sasa yata yung nagsabi. Mm-hmm. Nakita ko na she sorry, Sasa tweeted, I think, mm. about dapat yung mga content creators maging thankful sa audience because Correct. they are the ones na bumubuhay sa atin. Yes. They're the ones that give us our future mm-hmm. and they're the ones that watch our content for us to be able to actually have these brand deals mm-hmm. in the first place. So, thank you to all our followers. Thank you. We yeah. have to say, so parang just hearing the stories, napakalakas ng business sense mo. So, we've talked to a lot yeah. of creators, um, artists mm-hmm. for the past two decades. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pero you're one of the few who stand out. Like, in my head, yeah. promise, mm-hmm. no joke talk. So, sino yung mga hindi nag-stand out? Ako, tatlo lang kayo, diba? So, I guess everyone else. Sige, nakaparagal yun din, thumbnail. Pero, pero, sige, mamaya, ibubulong ko sa'yo lahat. Hindi, um, pero sobrang nag-stand out talaga yung business sense mo. The way, the way you craft your your strategies around your content, the way you think about your branding, the way you think about collaborating with your brands. Pero saan nang galing yun? Have you always been this way? Kasi yun nga, you said you didn't really, you didn't particular in, particularly enjoy your first few jobs. Yes, yeah. So saan nang galing to? Kasi uh, extraordinary talaga yung business sense mo. No, yeah. Bones? Do you agree? Yeah. Um, like the way you think about things and the way you care about the things that you do. I'm curious kung aware kung saan nang galing yun or is it something that comes naturally to you or you, are you consciously looking for ways to better take care of the work that you do? Yeah, mm, of course. Kasi gusto, when people try to ask me hanggang kailan ka magka-create ng content, feeling ko as long as, as long as gusto ko pa. Oh. Parang wala pa akong parang plano na I, I, I'll stop after five years. Kasi parang feeling ko, I, I see myself doing this for the long run. Yeah. Kasi ang dami-dami talagang kwento na pwede mong ikwento sa tao. Doon naman sa business, hindi ako business-minded na parang sa traditional sense. Traditional sense. Uh, hindi, ako, hindi ako mahilig sa ganun, like logistics and all. Pero siguro yung conscious effort lang talaga of taking care of your brand, whatever, brand and what you, what you put out. Hindi ako, I did not come into this field as an expert, pero nag lang din ako um, as I was, you know, um, traversing the oh, oh. yung parang content creation field. At saka may nalalearn din naman ako from other content creators. True. Yeah. Um, for example, I mean, this is a very bad example. But for example, when someone gets bashed, kanon, minsan na, napapaisip din ako na bakit siya nabash. Or mm-hmm. alam mo yun, so parang ikaw natututo ka din. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yun. 
Parang, I, I agree with that. Kasi same same with us. Wala yeah. namang guidebook on how to be exactly. the best influencer. Yeah. Exactly. And unlike, let's say, management, my management mm. engineering, my course ko para doon. Yeah. Exactly. Pero what we're doing, I mean, whatever course they mm. might come up with in the future, right. sa totoo lang, that's not tried and tested yet. Yes. So we're the experimental generation yeah, right. trying to figure out, okay, ano ba talaga yung nangyayari? Yes. Ano, ba para, talaga para yung best, ano ba talaga yung best practice? Right. At saka ever-changing naman yung mga tao. Eh. So it's all, it's very dynamic. What works today might not work next week. Yes. It's Mismo. very different. We don't know how long reels are going to last. Kaya sulitin natin. Exactly. <laughs> Umayod, yeah. wag naman sana. Kasi, oh, kasi pagkabuhayan na natin yan. Although hindi okay, naman monetize na. sa Instagram. Tama. Hindi, yeah. hindi monetize. Sa, sa Facebook. Hmm. Dito sa Pilipinas, hindi siya monetized. Nga eh. Bakit kasi yes, tayo... Yes, right. Ano, ilakad mo na yan. Hindi, pumunta tayong US, gumawa tayong account ko po, <laughs> tapos bumalik tayo para monetize. Wala, subscribe. I know something to that effect. Eh. Mm. I... Moving back, um, so you have been doing content 2017, mag si seven years ka yes. na. Yeah. 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 How do you, what ideas do you have to sustain this? And what other parts of content creation or what other, I guess parang verticals mm-hmm. would you like to explore aside mm. from reels like how do you grow from here may mga gusto ka bang loaded ng question <laughs> curious and, ako uh, and, and it, it's it's a great uh, i guess thing to think about because mm-hmm. you started off as dubs and yes. then you went into mm-hmm. Your own skits mm-hmm. and now your branded s- content, branded mm-hmm. content, and your skits have evolved throughout the years. Yes. So and now you're also becoming a personality in yourself. You're not just Davo yeah. Konyo mm-hmm. anymore. You're getting to be known as Philip, Philip Hernandez, yes. and you're you have live events, mm-hmm. you have appearances already. So I'm one million percent sure that if I isipan mo na to, and you've thought about what are the possibilities, so ano nga ba yun? Um, um, <laughs> siguro nothing particular, pero. Kasi ngayon kasi sobrang na-enjoy ko yung short skits eh. Okay. Probably because kahit ako, na-apply ko siya sa sarili niya, sa sarili ko, na gusto ko talaga short lang. Very, yeah. um, tanong ba tawag, bite-size. Yeah. And feeling ko, it parang feeling ko hindi pa naman siya, it's not going anywhere pa naman for now. Especially sa generation ngayon, sobrang short na attention span. Mm. And it, na- nag-favor siya sa akin kasi sobrang short din ang attention span ko. Um, longer content, open na ko, pero if may maisip siguro akong concept na sobrang different. Siguro, I tried, I'm experimenting before, I did um, um, Welcome to My Brag. So, it only oh. lasted two episodes. <laughs> so, ano nangyari din? <laughs> Welcome to My Brag is exactly what the name says. I'm bragging about the places na I went to. For example, yung parang nag-high tea ako sa Shangri-La. Okay. <laughs> so, parang mga scenes lang siya, mga outtakes lang siya, pero hindi na-dub ko lang siya kung ano yung nangyari. Yeah. In a funny way pa rin. So, parang siya hindi in the life, pero exactly. bragging about what you yes, did. Yes, yes. So, parang ano siya. Pero, hindi siya nag-last sa akin kasi... Sobrang effort niya. Yeah, and you have to go out. You spend money. I have money. to go out. Yeah. Actually, okay, medyo okay lang dun sa spend money. Ang yabang ko. Wow! Welcome to my brag! Uh, uh, pero, pero ang part talaga na kailangan ko lumabas, yun yung ayaw ko. Yeah. So, ako, inisip ko na, sige, balik na. Eto din. Um, kasi di ba, weakness ko nga talaga yung pag, pag like, so-socialize. Ganon. Actually, ngayon, weakness ko. Tsaka, what? <laughs> joke lang. Tagay lang tayo dito. <laughs> hindi, pero like, hindi ako masyado yung, ay, alam yeah, mo yung yeah, ganon. Yeah, so, yeah. Nasabi ko na rin sa story ko dati na parang we always talk about overcoming our fears but but at the same time we can also talk about focusing on our strengths. Yeah. Kasi parang, I don't know the world is so obsessed with overcome your fear overcome your fear which is okay but we tend to forget na why don't you focus on your strength. Exactly. Which is kasi 32 na rin ako eh. So wala na ako doon sa stage masyado na hindi gagawin ko to ganun <laughs> i-overcome ko yung ano yung fear of ano ko public speaking ganun. Kasi bakit ko naman iwis hindi naman pangit ways. Pero hindi ko naman, ba't ko naman, mag, ba't ako magbubuhos ng madaming energy sa pag-overcome yeah. na fear ko? Kung alam ko naman magaling ako dito, so dito yes. na lang muna ako magpo-focus. Yeah, and I feel like it's it's hard talaga to exert that amount of effort for so many, ano eh, weaknesses at mm-hmm. one point. Kasi baka mapabayaan mo yung strength mo. Exactly. So, exactly. it's okay naman to over, mm-hmm. try to like, try out new things. Yes. But I like what you said, na focus on your strengths. Yes. Because sometimes, people tend to forget about you know the things that they're good at. Yes. When they're focusing too much on what they're not good at. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kayo ba? Yung sa question na in terms of venturing to another mm-hmm. things, to other things rather. For us in trying new things, we're always open. Kung may mm-hmm. bago, susubukan natin. Yes. Go lang ng go. Mm-hmm. If it works, great. If not, okay lang. Kasi at Correct. least na try natin. And that happened with gaming, yung gaming stream. Mm-hmm. It happened with 
TikTok na sobrang sabi ko ayoko mag TikTok dati kasi akala ko pang sayaw lang siya. Diba? Ikaw kasi yun din naman talaga <gasps> nag-dominate doon dati. Sabi ko hindi ako marunong sumayaw, bakit yes. ako magta-TikTok? Yes. And then we started making content that we liked. Yeah. And we just stuck with that. So, I mean, you find out what works for you. And I think if it's going to tie into what you said, mm -hmm. that's us focusing on our strengths. Mm -hmm. We'll try the unknown and mm -hmm. then we'll find out how can we strengthen it with ourselves. Ang ganda nun. Wow, Miss yeah. You know what? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Di, tama din yun. Um, yes, correct din naman. I really like what you said. But I, as I was thinking about it, I was like, I like what Philip said, but that's the exact opposite of what I did. Yeah. Mm. So it, it's interesting because we all have different yeah. stories to yes. share about this uh, concept. Uh, uh, mm. um, I got into showbiz, but I was a graduate of business management, and mm. I had zero creative mm -hmm. creativity. Yeah, hindi siya mahilig Even sa in mga my family, movie. zero Dito talaga. Dito ka ba nag-aral talaga sa Philippines? Oh, 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 mm. oh. So wala talaga ang kaalam-alam. Mm. And... Konyo. Oh, Kasi pag when you say Ateneo de Davao, hindi talaga siya ano, ibang level talaga yung pag-Manila na Ateneo. Uh -oh. Manila, Davao, Davao, Konyo. Davao, Davao, Konyo. Manila. Totoong Konyo. <laughs> The legit Konyo, yun. Legit Konyo. So anyway, uh, ako naman, I've made a career out of attacking what was unknown for me. Mm -hmm. Hindi ako marun umarte, hindi ako marun sumayo, kumanta, mag-comedy, mag-host. Mm -hmm. mag Yun yung ginawa ko. I decided I wanted to learn, and it worked out. Yeah. But at the same time, I had the personality for it. Correct. I was willing to put in the work for that, which yeah. I mean, the but that's not it's not the same for everyone. And I think that's exactly. why also, pagdating ng social media, sobra na excited ako. Because for me, when I see something unknown or new, it's an opportunity. Because mm -hmm. yun yung naging karanasan ko, mm -hmm. yeah. which isn't always the same for others. Like for you, you decided I won't focus on my weaknesses. I'll focus on my strengths, yes. and that's what worked for you. So, yes. parang it just goes to show na parang whichever which way you want to slice the pie, mm -hmm. parang it can still work. Yes. So that was really interesting because you also had a very different experience yeah. when it came to that. And I feel like, as you know, if you're new into content creation, like you're starting out and figuring out what you like, mm -hmm. eventually you'll find your path. True. And there's something else. Uh, one more thing I do want to share. I, we did focus a bit more since 2020. So, dati kasi, kung wari, mag-artista ka sa TV, sasabihin mo, ay, okay, sige, mag-iipon ako dito, tapos mag-negosyo ako, mag-franchise ako ng show my king, mga ganun. Uh, show ganun my king. <laughs> At saka, <laughs> parang realistic na yun. <laughs> Hindi, ganun oh, talaga. Ang dami totoo uh, yun. Show my king talaga. Siyempre, yun na muna kasi uh, medyo mababa yung franchise uh, fee niya. Uh, di ba, kumpara dun sa isang parang Jollibee uh, or McDonald's. Correct, correct. So, anyway, uh, yun yung parang uh, traditional mold yes. ng artista. Okay, ganun ko isipin, ganun yung plano ko as a business but I realized when we started going heavy into content creation all those plans of getting into a franchise mm -hmm. and having like your own clothing mm -hmm. designs yeah, yeah. or whatever oh my god sobrang impossible yun kasi it's a completely different discipline yeah and all the things that you need to be successful in those businesses mm -hmm. we probably don't have right now mm -hmm. so starting from zero kami okay. so I told Bones lahat ng mga uh, parang desires natin to have these kinds of businesses, let's put that away mm -hmm. and let's just focus on businesses adjacent dito sa ginagawa natin. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said game streaming, if you want to put up events, mm -hmm. we can do events. Merch, if you want to do merch, we yeah. can do merch. So everything adjacent kasi ito yung, ito yung expertise yeah. na natin. Yeah. Yes. So now, coming from the opposite of what you said, mm -hmm. now I stick to what you said na mm -hmm. Let's focus on our strengths because we've been building this strength up for the past 20 years. Right. So, dun yeah. na kami ngayon. Now, yes. I think we're applying what you mentioned. Yeah. Can I just say na, ang saya na may creative field na pwedeng maging introvert. <laughs> diba? <laughs> like, iniisip ko na, syempre pag artista, you have to PR and all yes. that. And, yes. you know, I've been doing it for since I was 14. Mm -hmm. So parang people always question yung pagiging introverted ko because mm -hmm. they're like, ah, pwede pala mag-artista yung introvert. But when it comes to content creation, it's just a different playing field. And since mm -hmm. you're in your own parang safe space, yes. parang you can just, okay, I'll do my content and then I'll just sit back and relax and not talk to anyone mm -hmm. and just be me, be introverted, be quiet. And mm -hmm. then wala magjudjudge sa akin kasi mm -hmm. makikita lang nila yung output ko. Yes. Yeah. How do you feel like since you're most introverted? Parang how does this, I guess, line of work feel for you compared to your previous job? I think um, 
may may advantage siya ka disadvantage eh. kasi of course advantage na ma-manage ko yung time ko mm-hmm. like for example um, kung gusto ko mag-shoot ng dalawang dalawang skits a day okay lang pero ang kalakip din na is yung discipline din kasi kung tinatamad ka yeah walang magbabantay sa iyo walang magpo-push walang magsasabi walang magsasabi na ay kailangan matapos matuto din kasi ikaw yung nagde-decide pero overall I'm happy and I'm very lucky na nagagawa ko yung passion ko and at the same time I'm also earning from it I was looking at your content Facebook, Instagram. Mm-hmm. Walang mintis. Okay, sorry. You don't... No, no, no. Kala ko may sasabihin ka na magkikrin siya ko sa sarili. Walang ko. judgment. Mm-hmm. Walang judgment. Walang mintis. You post every almost day? every day. Like, see, see, ilang day. ilang beses mo ka lang nag-miss. Siguro mga a couple of times yes. in a month. Like, mm-hmm. maybe like once or twice a month you miss a day. But every single day you have a post. I am intrigued mm-hmm. because that's difficult considering the fact na mag-isa ka, mm. you shoot, edit, pre-pod, prod, mm. everything. One man team ka, One just to be clear. Team. One man team. Yeah. One man team. Paano mo minimanage yung time mo para magawa mo na everyday meron kang content na pinapost? That's my question. Wala Perfect. talaga siyang ano, wala, hindi, sobrang magiging ano ako, sobrang magiging fake ako sa sabihin ko na sobrang discipline ko when it comes mm-hmm. to schedule. Um, pero what I usually do is, at the, going back muna doon sa everyday, si, si Ryan nagsabi yeah. sa akin, no, na try to post everyday. And I really challenge myself na... So, Napaka-influential ni Ryan sa buhay natin sobra. lahat. Sobra! Ryan, we love you! Dito ka, Ryan! Ito si Miss... Kasi naalala ko tal- talaga dati is, na-chinare ko sa kanya yung frustration ko kasi parang mga sobrang hindi pa gano'ng kalaki yung following ko sa IG noon compared sa TikTok and Facebook. Tapos sinasabi ko kay Ryan na, Ryan, para, paano ko ba mag-grow yung, ano ko, yung, yung following ko sa Instagram? Kasi ito yung bias ko na app. Ito, dito ako gusto. Gusto ko dito yung pinaka-engage ko. So, um, yun, yun yung sinabi niya sa akin na um, you need to at least post every day. And yun yung na-learn ko na sometimes hindi, not every decision as a content creator, hindi pa di feelings-based lang. Yeah. May mga technicalities din talaga na kailangan mo sundin. So, parang it goes hand in hand. So, yun, I started posting every day. You know what? From less than 50k yata in um, in less than 2 months parang nag 300k yata ako or parang parang ganun kabilis I noticed. because i started posting every day and hindi din yun ano ah every day lang pala eh. so kahit ano lang ilalabas mo of course kailangan quality content, quality content in line yes. pa lang with the brand so what i usually do eto na tabi ko na sinabi to sito yung totoong question on good days nang parang ang ang bilis kong mag-isip nagsusulat ako ng mga script for example um Davao Con yung segments, ideas to shoot. Mm. Ah, ayan. Ay! So on good days, I write this down. I love For example, it. nakailang fake laugh ka na pero nagsasalita pa rin sila. Pero nag-le- uh, nag-lecture yung friend mo na ma- 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 magaling sa yeah. pera. Ikaw yung friend na gustong kumain lang agad kasi iba nagpipicture picture Oh my god, pa. I love it. And then you create a whole script around these ideas. Sinusulat ko na sila kung gusto ko na sila i-shoot. So ito ideas pa lang to, rough ideas. Yeah. Wala pang punchlines, concept lang. Yeah. So ayan, good days, I write it down. So, pag may mga days na wala akong maisip, pero kailangan akong mag-post, maghanap lang ako dito. Ah. Oh my God, can I share something with you? <laughs> right <laughs> now? Yun din. Kami din. Okay. Ah. So, uh, all of us have. Saka, notes wait, 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 wait. Yeah. List of Reels V2 na yan. My version 1 na dati. <laughs> so, it means yung version 1 natapos nyo na lahat. Uh, na um, na. Hindi. So, parang I had to uh, re-edit it kasi magulo yung version 1. Yeah. Mm. So, linagay ko V2 dito. Okay, yeah. So, I have the links to the pegs and then ano yung mga notes ko to make it a bit different or a summary of what the reel is about. Yes. So if I'm Love drinking it. coffee right now and I need a coffee reel mm-hmm. idea, I just search the coffee and then parang dito sa notes na yes, yan. Yes, yes, na yan. yes, ah! yes. Alam mo na, alam mo na. So, Kasi you can't just ano eh, na parang hindi, you can't rely on your mood or feelings all the, all the time na parang so pag ganun ba, kailangan masaya ka everyday. Kasi may mga days talaga na I don't feel like thinking. Yeah, so at least, naka, nababalik ka. So for all those aspiring content creators out there, mag-notes na kayo. Kasi mm. importante Mag-notes talaga. Mag-notes up kayo. Tapos yeah. bilhin yeah. sa Power Max Center yung iPhone nyo, please. Correct. Correct. <laughs> At saka, usually ano din, um, ito, isang tip ko din, damn, sinasabi ko na lahat. <laughs> lahat ng <na> sikreto. <laughs> so, meron dito, ito. Reels that I like. Ayan. So, I love and it's all the western ones that you were so talking about. So bookmark ko siya. Kasi ito yung mga, ah, pwede ko rin balikan if ever yes. wala akong maisip. And how yes. do I make it my own? I love Man. it. I love it. Kasi, ano talaga eh, you really capture ideas from other people and yes. make it your, your own na lang din. Eh, yun din naman kasi talaga yung ano, yun naman din kasi talaga yung parang um, quirk ng content ko. Dapat relatable siya. So that said, you have to outsource. Yes. Hindi siya na parang ikaw lang. Kasi kung ikaw lang, pwede siya mag inside joke. 
na nakakatawa siya for you pero hindi magets na ibang tao. So, Meron ka pag ano, real inspiration na galing sa mga totoong kakilala mo tapos napansin nila na ako ba yun? Oh my God! May one time na parang may friend ako na umutang sa akin. Ay! Oh my God! Oh. Umutang siya sa akin tapos to, to be fair naman medyo mabait pa ako sa part na to nag-wait ako na ilang business days before ko ginawa okay. ng reel para hindi sobrang halata. So, nung na-upload ko na yun, exactly same day, nag-chat siya sa akin, pero hindi, hindi niya ako inaway. Ah, okay. Nag-sorry lang siya na, ah. pero hindi pa rin siya nagbabayad. <laughs> Ay, grabe! Ay, magbayad ka na! Nag-sorry lang siya. Pero, 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 you, you know what, I watched that reel, tapos pinakita ko kay Boyd, sa tawang-tawa kami kasi na-experience oh namin God. yun. Pero, pero to be fair naman, ako, lagi ko sinasabi, and I mean this, um, I, I'm very honest in saying this na, wala akong ginawang reel to attack someone. Ah, okay. So, for example, kasi, I, gusto ko na nag-come to terms muna ako with the situation before I make fun of mm-hmm. it. So, nung gumawa ako na reel about the utang-utang, I made sure na hindi you're, na ako galit. You're at least na. At na. Okay na sana na hindi mo ako bayaran. Oh, yeah. Pero ang kapalit nun is, let me laugh about it. Yeah. Kasi, I mean, to be fair, ako naman yung victim dito. Nagamitin ko muna tong experience ko. Oh, funny naman. Funny na siya for me now. So, Uh-oh. alam mo yun, kasi hindi ko kaya yung parang gagawa ako na real na galit pa ako sa person. Yeah. Kasi ayaw kong gamitin yung platform ko na, baka sabihin niya kasi na, yabang mo naman kasi ang dami nakikinig sa'yo so ang dami mo nang kakampi. Ayaw ko yung ganun. So gusto ko talaga, at saka ayaw ko yung may nag-aaway sa, sa, sa comment section. May yeah. mga content na lang na-delete before kasi... Because it was too heated. Kasi nag-aaway na sila sa comment section. So delete na lang natin. To be fair, dapat bayaran ka ng friend. Well, Oo oh, nga eh, pero okay na. Pero okay na, na. pinagkakitaan na niya. Okay na yan. Okay na yan. Okay na yan. Ginawa na lang niya ng paraan. Uh, Kumita correct. na lang siya ng pera dun sa real. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, back to the effort thing. This is really interesting. When Megan and I were trying to align for this year, I said, Bones, alam mo, parang lubog na lubog tayo. Minsan sa content, nagahabol tayo. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, itali nga natin ano ba yung kailangan natin gawin. So we realized we have to make 60 reels a day. I mean, no, sorry, 60 reels a month. Oh, I almost died. Sorry, I almost sorry. Died. We, have to make, we have to make 60 reels a month. Because it's 30-30. Four, podca- four podcasts in a month. What, what do you mean 30-30? Four vlogs. Because every day, 30-30. But when you do, but when you collab it, yung ganun. Yeah, collab. We, hindi yun kasama. One reel for me, nakakolab ko sa kanya. One reel ah, for her, nakakolab niya sa akin. Okay, okay. Para sa, at yun lang yung style namin. Mm-hmm. Kasi very different pa yung content namin eh. Yeah. So, 60 reels a month, four podcasts, four vlogs. Mm-hmm. The branded content is separate also. Correct. Yeah. And then, lahat ng mga edit downs of the vlog and the Podcast. podcasts. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, yung mga promo-promo na kailangan gawin. Mm. And then, yung mga stories in between. And I'm like, oh my God, paano natin gagawin to? Mm-hmm. So, we're breaking it down. You have 24 times 7 hours in a week. Yeah. Sabi natin, ano to? Wala na tayong buhay? Correct. Tapos may mainstream work. Sorry, oh, tambo oh, yung term ko na mainstream work. Like, TV, TV work. TV, TV work, work. yes. Exactly. yes. So, oh, para yeah. sa amin, nalula kami dun. Sa totoo lang. And that And was when the time was Earlier this year, start of this yeah, year. Because yeah. this was the time we, were, uh, I, uh, we planned on doing a teleserye mm-hmm. again for GMA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're trying to figure out, what are we going to do? We came to the yeah, realization, we're not going to do So that's why we started trying to level up the team and everything. Yeah. But throwing it back to you, May how are you feeling? Okay, go. How are you workload mo ngayon? Like, how are you feeling? One man team, you mm-hmm. come out with reels every day, but of course, naka mirror naman, so yes. I assume one piece of content every day lang. Yes. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? Nakakapagod siya, pero alam ko na I could do more, but because I hindi pa ako ready mag expand sa sarili ko, like, like hiring people, uh-huh. that's the consequence that I need to deal with. Um, it could get <clears throat> overwhelming siya, kasi ako ako lang mag-isa. Oh, oh. Yeah. Pero iba din kasi talaga yung feeling when people would say na, especially when pag DM, pag, mm-hmm. iba kasi yung novelty pag DM eh, na parang yeah. they're not there to say something para makita ng iba. Nung DM sila na your videos made my day, I was yeah. having a bad day, ganun ganun. Meron pa iba na my mom is going through something na parang mas sakit or something. Yun yung parang, ang corny nung pakinggan pero not true. Y- minsan kasi yun yung reminder na parang oo oh, nga no. There's a reason why you're doing this. Yeah, there's a reason why why I'm I'm doing this. Yun din yung ano ko, fuel ko minsan. Although I mean ko din may mga times, <clears throat> may one time na parang almost one month ako nag-take ng break. Almost <gasps> parang sa one month na yun parang hindi ako every day, parang siguro every three, four days. Yeah. Kasi kailangan ko rin talagang <clears throat> kasi feeling ko ma- mauubos ako if ever. Totoo, totoo. And if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, yeah. parang <clears throat> you need a reminder na 
okay, there's life outside of it. Yes. And that's where you take your inspiration <clears throat> yeah. to get to the reels that you actually create. Correct. Correct. And going, ano lang din, in relation to that din, thankful lang din ako na yung mga tao ngayon, hindi na sila like years ago na pag sinabing content creator, kailangan full production. I mean, I mean, to- I feel like, you, to- you, to- yeah, you get what I mean, na parang, kahit nandiyan ka lang point and shoot lang. Yeah. Yung mga tao, hindi na talaga sila, eh, kailangan, ano, sobrang HD ng camera, kailangan, kaya hindi mo kailangan talaga mag, I mean, maganda ko naka-iPhone kasi power na. Pero, I mean, if hindi mo afford now, that shouldn't stop you from doing content. Yeah. Kasi it's, it's, Pero ano all. yun, um, it's still something that a lot of people are hesitant mm-hmm. about to get into content creation. Kasi akala nga nila, hanggang ngayon, yes. akala nila kailangan parang maganda yung camera mo, yes. tapos may <clears throat> camera man ka, may taga-edit ka. Right. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't realize na kayang-kaya mo sa sarili mo yun. Kaya mm-hmm. sa cellphone lang, kayang-kaya talaga. I mean, one thing to share, we're coming from TV, syempre you have a lot of artists na very used to glossy. Yeah. Diba? A certain standard when mm. it comes to production. Yes. So pag nagpaproduce sila, let's say, uh, let's say may branded deal sila, or let's mm. say kailangan lang nila mag-shoot sa isang event. Oh my God, maglalabas sila 50,000 para sa isang team. Just to shoot. And I'm like, ah, uh, di mo i-aro ayan, hello, ano mo i-aro <laughs> yes. sa'yo. So parang, um, it just goes to show you na parang kami, we've been doing things on our own. Yeah. And obviously, that's been very fruitful for us. Mm-hmm. Pero for others talaga, parang hindi nila naiintindihan yung power of being able to yes. create and produce <clears throat> on, on your, your own. own. Kasi yes. yun nga, yung iba talaga, pag glossy yung gusto nila, may team sila, 50k, may hair and makeup, 10k, yes. may stylist, 10k. Yes. And you're like, oh, okay, ano na nangyari? Nagbog lang ako dito. Underpriced hmm. pa nga yung... Nagbabayad lang ako para makapag-host. So ayaw na nila. Nadidismaya sila. Mm-mm. May ganong factor yeah. yan. Gets. Gets ko. Eh, pero yun nga yung cute eh. Kasi parang the more... The more... For me ha, feeling ko talaga may huge chunk of the pie na mas na-appreciate nila na ikaw. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Hindi yes. ganun ka-produced. Ka- Mismo. Yeah, it, and I super agree with that, which is why parang, but the, um, my thing now is yung mga sa iba kong friends, parang yun yung ayaw nila. Yeah. Sino to mga friends na? <laughs> <laughs> kayo, kilala nyo yung sino kayo. No, because we openly nyo. share this talaga. Kasi syempre, yeah, yeah. I will admit, um, in the, sa mga actors and actresses that we've gotten to know in GMA, mm. some of them, oh my God, yung talent, umaapaw talaga. Yes. Ibang klase, ito yung mga friends mo na mas nakakatawa, uh-huh. o, yeah, 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 diba, yeah. mas charming na, yeah. sana wag ka nalang mag-content uh-huh. creation lang kasi lang. masasapawan mo ako. <laughs> ito mga friends namin, I mean, syempre, they're younger, we're in the yeah. older part of our 30s na. Yeah. We would love for them to come into the content yes. creation space kasi, oh my Ang God, eh. diba, para so hirap na hirap sila kasi taping is, you know, physically and mentally tough. Yeah. Yeah. Mag-content creation lang sila. Tak. Yun na yun. As yun talagang fly yan. No doubt. Yeah. May established fan base na sila. May talent na sila. Yeah. Pero yung kaya sa isang kulang na sobrang importante, they just don't know how to create yeah. their own content. Baka kasi in-overthink nila. No, bitch mo. Sure. Sa, Everything ano. you might think about, like overthinking, mm. doubting, right. parang nagdududa dun sa, ay, papatok ba kaya to? Lahat yes. yun. Lahat ng mga fears na nag-overcome mm. sa kanila, lumalabas yun. And parang, my wish is that parang we can help them yeah. out. Yeah. That's my wish, like later on. Yeah. Susulitin ko muna yung sa amin. <laughs> Correct. Eh, di nakakatulong din naman nun. For example, malay nyo, pag napapanood nila kayo, parang lang, parang nag-work sa kanila, baka mag-work din sa amin. Yeah. Sana nga. Ganun. Sana nga. I, I really hope na ganun mapunta. But I mean, to each his own, di ba? Yeah, Hindi naman lahat hilig talaga. Eh, kami, hilig talaga. Correct. Na. Hilig mo talaga Correct. ang pagkakwento and pagsashare mm-hmm. ng stories. Ako, magiging hilig rin nila yan pag nabayaran na sila. No, pero makita mo ba sa totoo lang? I mean, syempre it's part of it. I always tell Bones na I mean, the, because it's a business and you can earn money. That's mm-hmm. kind of part of the high. Of course, creative yes. creatively and then socially like you said you receive your DMs. There's a reward there that you yes. feel. Yes. But also on the business side of things, may reward din yung feeling na yung pag nabayaran ka and you're oh, parang noticed for your work mm-hmm. in a monetary sense, yes. diba? May part rin 'yon. So parang kasama rin 'yon as a whole. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, wait, you had a question. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Kasi, kasi kayo na-try nyo both eh. Mainstream yeah. at saka content creation. How, ano yung difference ng dalawa? I mean, alam ko naman may difference. Yeah. Pero coming from eh, first-hand information from you guys. Definitely, pagiging, sa pagiging television talent, mm-hmm. lahat ng back-end, wala ka nang pakialam dun. Sa totoo lang. 
As in, you're just there, you show up on the set, everything is ready, mm -hmm. you do your part, and mm -hmm. then you leave. Yeah. So, yung pag set up, pag pack up, wala ka nang ano dun, wala ka nang ambag, mm -hmm. You can go through a whole career of acting and never have any idea how a film is produced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, gets. Mm -hmm. So, but, sa content creation, lalo na sa amin, end to end kami. Mm -hmm. So, from creating the concept, to shooting it, editing, and publishing, mm -hmm. that's what we do. Diba? As content creators, yeah. you are end-to-end -end talaga. Yes. And I, I would say that's the biggest difference. Mm -hmm. As an actor, actor ka lang talaga. Mm -hmm. Wala ka ng ibang ambag sa totoo yes. But I love, I love the fact that content creation, hawak mo lahat. Yeah. Ikaw ang magdadesisyon, ikaw ang may responsibility. Mm -hmm. Sa lahat ng ilalabas mo, you're not just there as a representative. Mm -hmm. You are in charge of your path about the branding that you want for yourself, yes. about the message that you want to give. Because mm -hmm. on TV, you give the message the writers give you. Tapos you just express it yes. through your acting mm -hmm. or through your words. So I feel like yun talaga yung pinaka difference. TV, mas hands off kami don, mm -hmm. but sa content creation, hands on, all in talaga. Yeah, okay, I have an answer to that. Okay, game. From the perspective of your answer, Kanina. Mm -hmm. um, when you talked about branding, mm -hmm. I felt like what we're doing sa TV and sa content creation, they synergize extremely, extremely well. So, napaisip ako eh, you have your Davao Konyo branding. Mm -hmm. You know what Davao Konyo is, what you're all, you want your audience to feel. Mm -hmm. I, when you were making that quent and you asked this question, I re thought about na, Ang uh, nangyari sa amin is being in TV naturally gave us our branding. And whenever we come out on TV, mm. nasa strengthen ng nasa strengthen yun. Kasi, um, yes, a lot of artists and actors and actresses have Instagram, but I think they don't use, we use it a bit differently. Yeah. In which the content that we show shows a lot of our lifestyle, a mm -hmm. lot of our personalities, and hindi na namin kailangan hanapin ko ano yung branding namin. Kasi yung Megan Young and Mikael Daez, mm -hmm. whom they see on TV, mm -hmm. that is the branding that we jump off of, off of when we start posting and creating mm -hmm. content. So, of course, you still want to refine that. That's why we still focus on different parts of our personality. Pagiging gamer niya, yeah. ako yung pagiging kenkoy ko, yung pagiging K-pop niya, mm -hmm. ako yung pagiging gamer ko din. Mm -hmm. So, we still focus it, but it gives us a great starting point. Mm -hmm. And I realized that lang when you were making it quento. Because I was like, ano nga ba ulit yung branding namin? We always talk about it, pero ano yung naging core? And yeah. I realized na yung core is really our personalities coming from TV. Yeah. Yeah. Which we worked for din naman, kasi yes. hindi nga mahirap, yeah. hindi nga madali yung trabaho Correct. doon sa TV. Yeah. So, I found that really interesting kasi na-realize ko yun as you were making that mm -hmm. quento. And the more we come out on TV, the more na nasa strengthen yun. All of a sudden, mas marami sa lang gustong malaman about us. So case in when point, sila? Na, like the audience. The audience. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and case in point, we did a series called Royal Blood a few months ago. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was my first time na may pagka kontrabida. Mm -hmm. Basta masama yung ugali. Kaya dalawa dun La, dalawa dalawa masama yung dalawa Masama yung ugali, <laughs> ugali na yeah. ng characters namin. And because sobrang iba yung personalities na nakita nila sa Instagram and social media, sobrang naintriga yung mga tao. Yeah. And then when they see us like from royal blood and yeah. then social media namin, yeah, yeah. parang, ha? Bakit ganito? Mm -hmm. So it gave them a storyline pa about us. And another touch point for them to hang on to. I was like, nakakatuwa naman yung dalawang to. Bakit ganun sila sa TV? Pero sa totoong buhay, hindi naman sila ganun. Oh, interesting yun. Yeah, oh, oh, so and only I only thought about that because of what you said. Na parang it really gives us a branding and maybe not something super specific because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the branding is more of us as a persona na yeah. sinusundan ng tao. Yes. And then from there we just craft what we want them to see na lang. Okay. Yeah. Pero hindi kayo kinabahan na baka baka the role that will be given to you will fight against who you really are as content creators. It used to be a factor mm -hmm. no wala pang social media because people would be heavily influenced by the character. Yes. And they wouldn't have any other way on how to see you as a person. Kung hindi ka magsistart ako at the bus, Correct. hindi ka nila <laughs> makikilala. Sa tunay na buhay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Diba? Hindi ka nila makikilala. Yes. They just know you for the characters you play. Yes. But nowadays, since may social media at may ibang outlet para makilala ka ng tao for who you really are, mm. I guess now it's anybody's ballgame na lang. It yes. doesn't matter what kind of character you have because nasa-separate na nila. 
Oh, oh. May question din ako. Okay, go, 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 go. Kasi parang feeling ko viable na rin kayo nasagot ito since you've been creating content for how many years now? Yeah. Matagal na. Matagal na. Five? Um, na parang finotype. Seriously. Uh, five, I'd say five. Yeah, yeah five. Four to five. five. Do you think na it's a death wish for content creators to cross to mainstream? Not the other way around that. Mm-hmm. Na hindi, mm-hmm. like for example, yeah. ako, 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 ako pala yun. <laughs> Kunin yung example. Pa, May follow up question ako sa'yo. Do it's a death wish? I just, I don't think it's a death wish, but I feel na the content creator just needs to know that it's going to be a completely different ballgame. Yeah. Because working in TV is miles apart from working in content creation. The things that you're going to do, the people that you need to, uh, parang yung sasagot ka sa ibang tao. The way you handle yourself yeah. will change. Yeah. yeah, it's completely different because mas... I would say na yung traditional or yung mm-hmm. TV per se, mm-hmm. mas malawak pa din ang reach kasi yeah. sa content creation as of now. Mm-hmm. And because... By miles? I, I mean, curious talaga ako. Honestly, ah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not that sure. But yeah. parang from the information that brands would give us, that mm-hmm. our management would give us, parang kinakapitan pa rin daw ng mga tao ang mm-hmm. traditional media. Mm-hmm. But we don't know how far a part that's going to be yeah. in the future, di ba? Baka mamaya, mabalik ta. Di ta, yeah. di ba? Hindi tayo sigurado. But yeah. I just feel na, going back to your question, do I think it's a death wish? I don't think it's a death wish. Mm-hmm. But I think that if you are a traditional content creator and you want to go into traditional media, you just need to know what you're getting into. It's a different ball game, and mm-hmm. there's a lot of other things to consider. I'm coming from a place na parang, ito, di, ito din yung gusto ko sabihin sa iba na, hindi siya and I, ho- I hope you don't take this the yeah. wrong way being a mainstream celebrity is not a promotion if you're coming from being a content creator it it can be mm-hmm. if yun talaga yung gusto mo yeah. and yung gusto mong path to life pero yun kasi yung naisip ng ibang content creators na so what's next for you ay gusto kong artist gusto kong maging content creator kasi gusto kong maging artist ay. kasi diba may iba kasi dati mm-hmm. nag-gets ko rin na sasali ako ng game show para ma-discover ako. Yeah. Sasali ako ng reality show para ma-discover ako kasi gusto ko mga artista. And yun din yung gusto ko sanang maintindihan ng iba na parang it's okay na gusto mo content creator ka lang. Yeah, I mean, okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. I have an answer. Can I share something? Okay, go. I really like what you said. I think that your question kasi can be answered depending on the perspective. Yes. So based on what you said mm-hmm. na parang is it okay just being a content creator and not using that as a springboard to mm-hmm. TV? Yeah. 1 million percent agree yes. ako dyan. Mm. Simply because content creation is the future. TV was the past. Mm-hmm. So TV is moving to content creation. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of the newer audiences and younger audiences of TV, and you can see this, this isn't a secret, a lot of them view on mobile already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. they are creating content. Mm-hmm. GMA, uh, TV5, ABS-CBN. Yeah. They have turned into content creation, creation. machines. Yes. yes. So for people to jump into TV because they want to be mainstream TV, mm-hmm. in terms of growth lang in business, mm-hmm. then I think that's the wrong way to look at it. Because mm-hmm. you're moving backwards. But if you want to use it as, let's say, an experience, and okay, fine, by all means, go for it. Yeah, but exactly. in the business yeah. sense, mm-hmm. mm, I think that there's a better way of doing it. Because I think that you can leverage opportunities in TV to help multiply what you have in content yeah. creation. Yes. But not necessarily say content creation and then TV yung end point. Because yes. content creation is what is growing into the future. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I don't think that parang people should look down on content creation also. Because yeah. I feel like that's what you're going at. Na parang people just see it as a stepping, stepping stone, stone lang, yeah. rather than a full-fledged career. Yeah. Although not for all. Not some, for all, yes. Some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, there are some people that just see it as, ah, hindi, magpapost na ako dito, baka mapansin ako. Yeah. And it's not a bad thing also, yeah. kasi mm-hmm. nowadays, from what I hear from my friends in, like abroad, pag mm-hmm. sa mga modeling agencies, a lot of them tend to look at your following. They ask for your following oh. um, on social media yeah, yeah. when you do your castings. I mean, do I agree with it? I don't know yet. Yes. Like, I don't know, like, is that like their business style that works for them? Yeah, Does yeah. it earn them more money when they have models that have a bigger following? Yeah. Di natin alam yung back end nila. Mm-hmm. But yun yung ginagawa nila ngayon. And mm-hmm. I'm sure, you know, other brands also look at content creators for their KPIs, for right. their numbers. Kasi isipin nila, sulit ba tong babayaran ko? 
for these content creators. Correct. Correct. And another thing to add, parang I think people look for a lot of templates kasi, especially in, you know, mga idol nila. Mm-hmm. Pero, I think the opportunity is really in the pioneers who are examples of this. Sa totoo lang, si Kong is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Si Kong and his wife, si V. Si v. Si v. <laughs> Grabe sila. Kasi, what they did, they could have easily gone TV. And I'm sure they've had guestings in yeah, a yeah. news show maybe or yeah. a right. talk show. But what they did, they created their businesses and they leveraged the influence that multinationals crave for. Right? Mm-hmm. They're looking for that ad space. They're mm-hmm. looking for that platform. And I think Kong and V realized they had that platform. Mm-hmm. So they started to create their own products instead of yeah. going through all the brands right. who want to leverage their ad space. Yeah. So para sa akin, that's the future. I mean, mm-hmm. that's where everyone will probably go. Another good example, which is even more popular, Mr. Beast. Yeah. Came out with Mr. Beast yeah. chocolate bars because right. he realized how much would Hershey's and all these other big brands pay mm-hmm. me to have ad space here. If I have the capability to launch my own product here, then why don't I do that and I'll use my own ad space? All right, yeah. my free range kapa when it yes. comes to like direction and all exactly. All so all parang all of a sudden parang why can't we have a Mikael and Megan's uh, Mercato? Na mm-hmm. All of our favorite restaurants, why can't we come up with a branded food market for us? Because this is what we like, this is what yeah. we enjoy, yeah. we get together some friends, mm-hmm. we have the marketing arm to pull it off. Mm-hmm. So parang all of a sudden, the opportunities are endless. But not everybody is open to something as uh, experimental as yeah. that. But when you really think about it, all these opportunities are there for us. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because we, we worked for it then, naman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pero yun yun na excite para sa akin. And even just talking to you, para sa akin, at dami mong pwedeng go in. Like, the Davao, Davao Konyo brand and any other brand that you want to branch off of Davao Konyo, all of a sudden, at dami mong pwedeng go in yeah. in terms of business, mm-hmm. industrial knowledge mo, and the way you elaborate and share your stories. Mm-hmm. That in itself is so much value. That's like a, Four-year course in college. How much is a four-year course in college? <laughs> one million pesos, di ba? Or baka, one million a year na ba? Yeah. Yung mga private. Hindi ko na nga, parang ganun na nga, di ba? So, nasabihin natin one million, baka four million pesos na. So, your knowledge is worth that much to someone because I think you and I, we can all agree here, the knowledge that we share and that we talk about, makakabuhay ng isang tao, ng isang pamilya. Di ba? So, parang when you think about what we do in that sense, in that perspective, Parang nakakatawa siya kasi you see, oh, ang dami palang value sa ginagawa ko. Yeah. And if I'm able to share this and disseminate this properly and just package it properly, then there's really a lot of opportunity, not just for us, but for everyone yeah. else involved. Yes. So, yun lang. And that's also a deciding factor why we started to grow the team. Because mm-hmm. I feel like growing a team also gives them a chance to explore so many different things. Because okay, if you grow out of like let's say the role that you have with us, that's okay. Correct. There will always be other people to come in and teach. Mm-hmm. Pero para sa akin, that's why also we wanted to come into this. We're getting older. We have so much industrial knowledge. We have so much secret sauce. Kumbaga, mm-hmm. share na natin. And like yeah. you said, yes. we're not afraid of sharing because there's space for everyone. Yeah. Toto. Toto. And I'll go back pa rin talaga na kahit we share the same formula, it's all about execution. We all oh, have yes. different. Yeah. Iba, iba talaga. Oh. Iba, iba oh. talaga. Yeah. And I, we shouldn't gatekeep also. Yeah. Because, Toto. you know, we're learning from other people also who willingly shared their knowledge and Correct. their time. So, might as well pay it forward. Then. Yes. Tapos sa mga hindi nag-share, bahala kayo. Correct. Eh di kayo na. Wow. Nagalit. Malalaman din namin yan. Just mo sa kami. <laughs> All right, but before we end our podcast, kasi, you know, Unless you have other questions, yeah, you have you anything you want to bring yeah, okay, up? Yeah, okay. Kaya ako rin natanong yun, kasi of course, I also get um, um, offers then na, why don't you try this yeah. one? And I'm genuinely curious na, yung tanong ko kanina, it's not to insin- insinuate something. I'm coming from a place na, ako medyo natatakot din ako ng dam, baka, doon ako na, baka ma-break, yun nga, sabi ko kanina, baka mag-iba yung tingin ng tao sa akin, because wala akong control pag mainstream. Mm, yeah. When they want me to be like this, to express lines like this, kanilang decision yun. Yes. Versus kung ako. Yeah. So baka lang mag-iba na, but hindi siya ano ngayon, Davao. Yeah, yeah. Yun. You just so, need to know which direction. Yeah. Yun, yun lang naman yeah. yun. Yeah. But, but as but, an experience, I think it will be really nice. So when you're ready for it, then go. I, I think you call. should try it out. <laughs> but like if you want to try out a new TV, no, if, he, if uh, Philip would like to try out TV, as an experience, not anything related yeah. to your business mm-hmm. and your the branding that you have. But as an experience, it's always a nice to have. Yeah. Para sa para it's, a, it's, it's a nice thing to have been through. Yeah. Kasi TV. you never know unless you try it. Correct. Correct. You never I mean. know unless you try it. But I, you know, I super enjoy our 
our chikahan for today, Zai and Zo. Did you enjoy the month? I'm sure at first, medyo apprehensive ko, di ba? Kanina nga, nakakanta ko dito, di ba? O yan, nakataas na kayo pa ako. Yan na, yan na. Yan na yung proweba. Yan na yung proweba. Nakataas na po yung paa ni Philip. Comfortable na po siya. Kasi at first, andito siya nakaupo eh. Uh, parang hindi siya nakaupo. Hindi <laughs> ka nakita sa camera. Hindi na pakita ko lang. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pero I really enjoyed it. And of course, iba din yung feeling na I get insights then from other people who does the same thing sa akin. Mm-hmm. Sarap, di ba? Yeah. We like so, talking yeah. to each other. Ang sarap But before we, ano, before we end, we want to end it on a very fun note. So we're gonna have a little game before we end. And this game is called Explain That Gram. Wow, original. Oh, thank wow. you, thank you. Hawkins. Napaka original ng concept. <laughs> may may pa- entry tapos i-explain ko bakit. Yeah. Yes, wow. give us context lang. Wow. Context wow. lang. Okay. Hindi naman kailangan isang novela. Uh, Para audio photo book lang pa rin oh, niya. I-explain oh, ko lang oh. kung ano nangyari sa photo na yan. Okay. Okay, explain that <laughs> gram. <laughs> Ta-da. Uh, okay. This one. Dama. May mga doodles ka. Uh-uh. This was one of your first three or four posts ever. Right. Yeah. Right. I think 2019 yan. I don't know if you've seen my audio photo book. No, I haven't. Ano siya? Oh my God. Um, kasi ganito yan. Kasi di ba, al- ang, bra- ang gusto ko talaga mangyari sa self ko is gusto ko, hindi kasi... Hindi ako yung parang magse-selfie lang, ang dami ng likes. Yeah. Alam mo yun? Kasi, I mean, traditionally, hindi naman ako yung parang sobrang celebrity. So, ang sabi ko na, if magpo-post ako ng something static, gusto ko may something, may twist. May kakaiba. Uh, so, nag-start ako doodle-doodle. Pero hindi siya nag-workout kasi nga, mas gusto ko na yung humorous. Yes. So, ang dami ko na naman sinabi. So, <laughs> then, to branch off of that, k- ginawa ko yung audio photo book, which is this one. Kasi sabi ko na, may mga brands kasi na, Philip, pwede mag-post ka lang ng picture with the product. Tapos, nahihiya ako kasi sabi ko na, ma'am, hindi, hindi ako same kay Miss Megan na dyan kay Sir Mikael na pa mag-post tapos ang dami mag-like. Si Zaya, si Zon. Oo, oh, oh, I have to do something different. So, that's why I came up with audio photo book. So, that, ito yung ginawa ko. So, di ba static siya? Yes. Pero ang surprise dyan is... May VO ka. May VO. Welcome to my audio. I noticed this! Yes. Yes. Kaya nag-attend ako ng kasal ng pinsan ko sa Batang. Yes. Grabe no, ano kaya yung feeling na ikakasal ka? Siyempre, hindi ko alam. Bading ako na nasa Pilipinas. <laughs> so, mga ganun. So, sabi ko na, how do I add value? And this is the most, one of your more recent posts. Diba? Yes. So, I, showed, I showed Megan this. Yeah, he yes. was like, tira mo yung ginawa ni Davao uh, Conyo. Kakaiba uh, yung ginawa. Diba? Right. And nag-start yan, again, I can mention brands, right? Nag-start yan sa Sun Life. Kasi napirmahan ko na yung brief. Hindi ko nakita na kailangan pala may static post din ako. Sabi ko, sino magla-like nito? So, nag-panic ako kasi... <laughs> Philip, you just have to post na happy ka and all. So, sabi ko na hindi, gagawa ko ng bali. So, sabi ko, sige, what, what if photo ko na, tapos mag-narrate ako ng something yeah. funny, tapos lagyan ko ng background music. So, dun na panganak yung, ah, pwede ko itong gawin, audio I photo book. It. So, and it's so original. So, I was like, ang galing ng concept diba? na ginawa niya. Tsaka, nag-agree ako dun sa original. <laughs> yeah, it's so original. Hindi, pero again, it stems back from, how do you make things your own? Exactly. Kung feeling mo na hindi mo strength ang itsura mo, o di, gawan mo na paraan. Paano? How do you make it to your favor? So yun, parang yun din yung parang mga ano, mga attempt ko din na... I love it. Yeah. Wait, can I have a follow-up question? Because I was actually gonna show Philip that particular photo. Okay. And the photos around that, nag-procreate ka, no? Yes. You draw. Pero you like magaling. drawing. Hindi ako magaling mag-drawing. Parang doodle-doodle lang din. Yung mga cute-cute stuff lang. Pero hindi naman ako sobrang galing. Ah, pero mahilig ka ba mag-drawing? Kasi it looks like you enjoy it. Kasi para sa akin, I, I, ako kasi I'm a fan of that kind. Yeah. Obviously, if you can see ma-art oh, kami. Okay. <laughs> ma-art kami. Yeah, I really yeah, like yeah. the doodles. Mm. It's so cute. so cute. Siguro, ano lang, may face lang ako na gusto ko. Uh, parang therapeutic lang yeah. siya for me. Pero okay. hindi ko siya parang go to hobby. Gotcha, gotcha. Super fun though, tingnan. Wait, you have a picture, di ba, that you screenshotted? Mm. I think that was gonna be the photo. Meron pa, meron pa tayo. Isa pang doodle kasi you don't post a lot of photos about mm-hmm. yourself. So a lot of the first ones were doodles. I was so intrigued by this. Ah, oh my God. Spread your legs, not fake news. Ay, maganda pa rin yan hanggang maganda, ngayon. Maganda, hanggang ngayon. Maganda pa rin siya. Ay, maging sex positive siya. Um, hindi, ano lang yan. Parang, parang ano lang, fun take lang sa mga, I mean, ha, nagdo-drawing-drawing lang ako. No? Sabi ko na, ala parang, parang hindi ko kaya i-drawing yung real stuff. So sabi ko yeah. na, ah, lagyan ko na lang ng speech bubble. Tapos, what is the messages I would, I would want to say? To be fair, it's intriguing, but it's also parang not, uh, how do you call this? 
parang hindi bastusin yes. yung dating. Yes. So parang even if a brand were to go through your page, right. parang they would be like, oh, okay. Oh my God, hindi ko alam na up-up pa pala yan. Nakalimutan yeah. ko na. Uh, Dapat ba i-delete mo ito? Hindi naman din, pero hindi ko na maalala. Okay, oo, oh, okay, meron na ako. Kanina sabi mo babaka 2019. Ito, October 3, 2017. Ah, ano Ay, to? gusto niya talaga yung doodles, no? Yeah, super! Nakalimutan ko anong ibig sabihin yan. <laughs> yeah, okay. kasi so, may So, hindi natin alam. Oh, please, Alamin yeah. natin now. Oo, oh, oh. translate. Okay, ano ba ako okay, bastos? Ma. Oh, sige, kung bastos, i- ano? Pero again, yun yung mga ano, yun yung mga random photos ko lang sa camera roll na gusto kong i-upload, pero parang boring kung ganun lang. So, dinadagyan ko na lang, lang doodles. Parang I love eggs ba yan? Hulugan, sad, taka egg. Nakalimutan ko anong meaning niya. Hala, nakakahiya. Parang ko yung mga kumakalat sa nine dog na nagpapatato tapos hindi alam yung totoong nini. <laughs> very, ano, very Ariana Grande. Wow. Mm, hala, shit. Wala lumalabas. Pero kanina egg, egg lumabas. Prince. Hindi ka sure, baka gawagag... Egg. Uh, kanina love egg to ha. Baka, uh, baka I, parang I love tamago yata. Amin. Baka I love tamago. Baka. Yeah, baka. if I'm not mistaken. Parang I wanna... Sige, yun na lang para PG uh, yung, ano, yung translation natin. Uh, <laughs> yung parang ang tagal na pala talaga niyan. In fairness ha. Yeah. Okay. At saka, ano, interesting yung mga napili niyo screenshots. <laughs> oh! <laughs> sobrang, sobrang tagal talaga. Only because, uh, madali lang i-scroll mm. ang IG ni Philip. Yes. So, kung gusto niyo siya i-stock, pag-scroll-scroll <laughs> lang kayo dyan sa IG, makikita niyo na yan. At saka, may mga hidden gems niyo sa IG. <laughs> with that, uh, we are going to end this podcast with a question that we ask most of our guests. Mm. Philip, when are you at your happiest? I'm at my happiest when I'm with my closest friends. Sorry sa family. Sorry. Ay, sorry. <laughs> sorry sa pamilya ko. Sorry na guys, wala na ako panoorin nila. Oh, wala na ba? That's it excited bigla. Friends and family. Oh. And actually, to be fair din naman, yung family given na yan eh. Pero iba kasi yung closest friends because you choose them to be a yes. part of your family. That is true. Ayun. That is true. So yes. to <laughs> to <laughs> Philip's family. Sorry oh, oh, na sorry, lang. Sorry, oh, sorry oh. na lang. Friends. So adapted na yan. Ando na kayo, family din. <laughs> But anyways, thank you so much, Philip, thank for joining so our podcast. Thank you for... I enjoyed our conversation yeah. so much. Thank you, thank oh my you. God. Thank you for being... Most best, At gusto ko yung ano eh. Hindi. Usually, I'm so... Wait lang. I have to defend myself. Hanapin niyo yung... Hanapin niyo yung... Hanapin niyo yung scene kanina na gumanon siya na hindi ko alam anong gagawin. Sorry, ma. Okay, so... Kailangan nyo i-super cut to. Okay? Lahat ng klaseng appear na gawa namin. Ganyan. O, oh, ganun. Tapos nagawa namin yung, yung ganyan. Ay, tayo, tayo nalo. Oo, oh, okay. tapos meron tayong ganyan. Okay. Tapos meron ganyan. So, kahit ako, hindi ko matansya si Philly. Sabi ko, ano bang appear ang gusto ni Philly? Usually, ganyan, kasi ganyan. ganyan, Para, ganyan. Oh, ay, ah, okay. So, next time, gaganyan na ako. Okay. Okay. Pero, kanina, Pero okay lang na naman yun. Nag-adjust lang ako. Pag gumawa lang, nagkaganan. Ako rin nag-adjust din ako eh. Sabi ko, ba yan? Ano nga ba ito? Hindi nga kasi gets na... Ay, oh, di ba? Di ba? Oh, alam mo na. Popo, so next time. Mm. Adjust, 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 adjust. Learning. In, can, I, can I be honest? When you first went, like, yung parang ganun kay Philip, I was like... Ano na feel mo din yun? Nagyan mo yung tension, ano ang gagawin ko na? Hindi, sabi ko, bakit ganun? Binago, pero nakita mo, binago, ginan ko ko agad. Oh, nag-adjust naman po ako. Parang may ano, parang airplane. Ay, no. Ganun pala. Ay, gagawin kong real yan. <laughs> Alam mo na, saan mo ah. <laughs> Parang, up here, disappear, one, 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 one,